Hello, welcome to another episode of SDS. We are back. Um, the Premier League is back. International break is over. Um, no, I'm not wearing these shades to to look cool or something. I have some sort of an eye infection. Um, well, it looks like a, okay. I'll be honest, dude, I got into a fight, but it's fine because um, well. you should have seen the other guy. You know, <laughs> came out looking a lot worse than me. But um, yeah, so I'm just covering my eyes. Hopefully, the next time I'm here, I won't be wearing these. Uh, but yeah. The work week goes on, the football week goes on. I still have to be here. Thank you, Asif, for letting me on your podcast. I appreciate it. Uh, City versus Arsenal <laughs> is the first game we want to start off talking about because the big, big game this weekend, uh, the key fixture of the weekend for sure. Um, but before we do that, let me announce the table. As you can see, right next to me, star player, my vice captain for today. Welcome oh, back. Back back to being at the right seat. It's it was sir, good. I was, back, I was sat on the other side the last time. Were you? Yeah, I remember. It didn't, it didn't feel right. Innit? It didn't feel right. It felt weird. It didn't feel weird. Who was? Who was? Who was? I was sitting there. there. I think Liban. I'm, I don't know. It was. It's Fuzzy. I, I, I no, couldn't tell. It was me. Oh. Well, I tell you. It's it been a while, me. but you came in late. Liban. Not late. So no. you came in for expressions. Yes. Oh yes. Sa- was, sa- yes, yes. I was here. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. yeah. It felt weird, but it's good. It felt weird. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Welcome back. Glad to be back. Good to have you on. The live show as well. Not like the watch along. Did watch along. Yep. Did watch the City Arsenal game. So we're gonna talk about that. Another return. Sugar Sean is back. Hey, uh, hey, repping, hey, repping, sugar, sugar, sugar. LA Lakers. I, I don't support Chelsea no more. Why? We, switch sports. We, we don't watch football no more. Wait, well, Dodgers fan? Uh, I'm an LA fan. Yeah, he's Dodgers. Dodgers. Yeah, Dodgers. Yeah. Dodgers. LA Dodgers. Todd Bowley yeah. and the Dodgers, Rams, man. Rams. Rams as well. Wow, Stan Kroenke, yeah? yeah. Come on. Come on. That was your Arsenal as well. <laughs> Arsenal by association. <laughs> Both. Yeah, by association. Depression can get you, can lead you to these places, man. There you go, you, there you go. And uh, and Liban is here. On the rhythm right back, now. Man, back, this I'm is an OG table, you know. This yeah, is the original. It is, it is. It's the original, original. It is, it is. It's yeah. a throwback. Uh, if you've been around SES for years, it is a throwback table. Um, and it's been a very good game week mm-hmm. to talk, especially for talking points anyways. Uh, maybe not a good game week for some, but, you know, we all drew, actually. Everyone on this table drew. <laughs> <laughs> So some of us shouldn't yes, have drawn. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 your team shouldn't have drawn. So we're going to discuss it. <laughs> Chelsea. <laughs> your team Chelsea, man. Oh, you sat, you're right. You're Come just, on, man. I respect that. You know how many times on Twitter? You know how many times on Twitter I get that? And you're a United fan. Are you a Chelsea fan. I'm well, like, back in the, you were Liverpool for a bit back in the day. Uh, bro, you got to be everyone. You got to be yeah. everyone so you don't lose. <laughs> you're wearing, wearing, wearing the, um, yeah. the towel. He was, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Only two I want to support is Tottenham. You know. Tottenham's the only two <laughs> I don't, I don't support. That I don't rep. That meaty yellow top. Which one? That meaty yellow top and red. The one I used to wear. 1920 with the Liverpool. The one that used to grab your hips. The one with the one with the one yeah, uh, <laughs> grab your hits. Yeah, meant it. <laughs> What's going to then? Yeah, <laughs> love handles. Ah, there we see. Oh, hey, this guy taking a better than what it is. What is he talking about? What? Hey, <laughs> but, it started already. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. I see how, I see how it is. Serious time. <laughs> see how it is, brother. As you can see, see this is a throwback table. It is. Uh, serious time now. First game <laughs> we're going to talk about is the key fixture of the weekend. Is Man City versus Arsenal. Uh, the game finished nil nil. Mm. You know, all was you know it was, it was, it was tied. Both teams shared a point. Um, at Etihad, Man City's fifty-seven game record of scoring home goals is done now. Gone. Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah. Because of so Saliba and Gabriel. Real defenders came to town. Can be real. That's the reason. Um, well, yeah. So the game finished nil nil. A lot of people said. Well, a lot of neutrals said it was a boring game. You know, it was a flat game. So I'd love to hear your po- your points, what you thought about the game. You were here on the watch along, so I'd love mm-hmm. to hear what you're going to say about that. You weren't, but I'm assuming, obviously, you watched it mm-hmm. due to how big the game was. So I'd love to hear about that. Um, but yeah, going through a few stats for the game. Saliba ended up getting man of the match. Uh, he got most touches, most possession won, uh, most duels won, most possession ones in the final third, zero fouls committed, zero dribble pass. Most touches? Yeah, he had most touches in the game. Um, which For was, a team, we, we didn't have much possession. of the ball. Less than mm. 30% possession. Yeah, that's surprising. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it's the first goal draw between the two teams since January 2011. And we're the first, uh, obviously, Premier League team to keep a clean sheet at the head in 882 days, which is 57 plus games. And uh, David Raya is now the first goalkeeper to keep 10 clean sheets in the Premier League this season. He's, he has the most clean sheets in the Premier League. He's undefeated he, against Man City as well for two years. Even though he didn't start the season. <laughs> yeah. Last year, <laughs> did a double yeah. over them at Brentford. And now, obviously, a, goal, a win and a draw. Um, well, did he play the first game? No, was he in the team by then? Yeah, yeah, remember he, he had yes, that back yeah, pass. Because he almost had yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, before we carry on talking about the rest of the game, from a neutral, neutral standpoint, I'll go with you, Sean, first because you were trying to watch along. Mm-hmm. Was it a boring game? Was there things you could take away from it? No, I never. Was it f- two top teams just cancelling each other out tactically? What mm. was it? I never feel like as if it's a a boring game because of the way. That, listen, if this goes down to the end of the season where Arsenal win the league, 
you will look back on a performance like this to change the way that you normally play. You didn't go out front foot. You didn't want to try attack them, go machine for machine. Mm. You wanted to go there, say, right, we'll keep keep solid, see if we can hit them on the break. I feel like the availability for Martinelli today would have been massive for you in the way that you tried to play because if you were, if you had his speed mm-hmm. on the left-hand side, I think you would have been able to take advantage of it a bit more with the way that you lot played. But it was interesting, isn't it? Like, can we see man this new age Man City break someone down? Like, we, we praise these defenders for doing... We we praised Saliba, we've praised Gabriel this season, praised Gabriel this season. Yeah, I think Gabriel was the man of the match for me. Do you get me? So if we've been praising those kind of players, today was an example of when you play that pragmatic style, can these men get to keep the clean sheet, get the result? Mm-hmm. And that's what they've done today. So it was more of a thing where you'll look back on it at the end of the season, like I said. Some people might see it as if we try to attack City, we might have won the game, might 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 you might win you might lose the league by one point, two points. Yeah. Which so, but then you might win it by one point, and then you'd be like that point against Man City was massive. So, mm-hmm. I so think all was, in all, you think it's a good result for us? Yeah, massive result for you, Luke. and bad result for City. Or also, good result for them. Also, I feel like as if in their minds they're going to see it as they've got an easier running. They feel like maybe you are going to make your hiccups with the with the running fixtures: Aston Villa, Man United, Chelsea, all these kind of guys. But it's it's it, it's it's hard to do that, man. You got to still got to attack the game. You, you still just got to Chelsea in there. We're hot. We, 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 <laughs> listen, <laughs> we threw a two 0 lead to get away from you, lot, man. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're a lot of people's poison ivy, but I think it was interesting. I was I was watching it with Andy Cole today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was he saying? What does he think about the game? I said to Cole, I thought it was going to be no nil. Oh, fair. Before the game, I thought fair. it was going to be boring. I said, I said first five minutes, I'll see how Arsenal set up. You'll kind of know what the score is. Mm-hmm. He thought uh, two 0 three 0 City. City. Yeah. yeah. He don't like Arsenal. Well, see? Oh, mm. well, he used to play for us. Yeah, I know. Young, young academy boy. He used to play for us. You Maybe that's how you he You lot didn't respect him. Yeah, because we had strikers. No. Andy Cole is <laughs> Premier League heritage. Yeah, Fourth right. all-time oh, top Premier League. We got Uncle right. right. I don't mind. Yeah. It's fine. No, but, uh, yeah. Being legend at Man United is fine. Mm. No, but, but it, was, it was interesting. Yeah, okay. It was good. But it wasn't, you wouldn't, you, for you, you mm. wouldn't say it was a boring game. Nah, because I'm seeing a lot of people say it was a boring game. I didn't think it was a boring game. I didn't think it was boring either. We've watched football for so long. We know how, like, like I said, you know your style of your team and how you normally see it. Mm-hmm. You're going to the top of the table away from home. These are difficult fixtures. Sometimes just try and get the result away from home. Thanks. You got your home result. You won. You beat them at home. Mm-hmm. Get your away result and and keep it moving. Two clean sheets against them as well this season. Mm. 108 minutes of Premier League football. No goals conceded against them. Obviously, they have the current top goal scoring in Premier League and the all time. Like record breaker in a single season, oh. Erling Haaland. Uh, he was a massive talking point after this game. Um, obviously, winning Saliba and Gabriel Magalhaes are the first centre back partnership to restrict Erling Haaland to zero shots on target, both home and away, in a single season. He had no shots on target in two mm. games. Saliba and Gabriel, of course, massive portals to them. They've been mm. growing and growing and growing as a partnership this season, but also. Whilst we're giving them praise, which they deserve, they've done mm. really, really well, of course. Uh, we had a plan for him. Mm-hmm. We had a plan for him at home. We had a plan for him this game. On Haaland's end now, I saw some quotes after the game that Roy Keane said, he's obviously a world-class finisher, but everything else, he's like a League Two player. That's what Roy Keane said. Roy, Roy, Keane's, Roy, Keane, Roy Keane's a legend as well. He is. You know what, uh, you know what it is? Does Keane just hate mm. the Haaland No, no, no. It's not even... Uh, maybe, because he, 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 he did his best. He did his best still. You know what it is? It, for me... Everyone, when they watch Haaland, obviously we admire his finishing, his movement and all that stuff. When it comes to link-up play and all that stuff, we just, we can't anticipate and expect strikers to have that in their game where he's just an old school striker. Mm-hmm. So when he doesn't have that factor in his game, we can't criticise him because we're just normal fans. Mm-hmm. So when people like Roy Keane see the same way we do, mm-hmm. it's like, you know what, we was right. Mm-hmm. But you can't, you can't really say it out loud because people are going to be like, Confirmation he, bias. He, yeah, he, he bagged fifty goals. What are you talking about? Yeah. Oh, he's yeah, top goal scorer. I'm, I'm that's that's people. what your side. That's, 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 that's what. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So yeah. for me, it's like you can be you can re, you can be right both ways. He can be right by saying Haaland's mm. link up play and his touches and his passing ain't great. But the one thing he can't we can't deny is his finishing, which Roy Keane said. Mm. For me, it's uh, going back. I also said it on the the live stream as well. But I'll say it again. For me, at the end of the day. If I have a striker and he gets me 30 to 40 to 50 goals a season, I couldn't care less about his all-round play. 
I'll be so run- honest with you because at the end of the day, his job, I, at the end of the day, as in the, it's in the title. It's, his, it's to score goals. Of course. And, and of course, that's a fact. I'll let and you finish. Go yeah, because no, I'm saying if, if his job is to score goals and if he's doing it at the rate that he's been doing it, bear in mind he's coming to the Premier League in his first season, broken crazy amount of records. Records that were standing for how many years in his first season, done that, led his team to a treble. I and mean, yet yeah, we're trying to still find ways to credit him. That is what he is. He is a goal scorer and he's doing the job. Why do if my striker gets forty mm. to fifty goals, I don't need him to get involved in the build up play. I don't need him to drop deep and link okay. up. So I need him to be mm, as okay. close to the goal as I, possible. I, I understand that completely yeah. and it's even crazy yeah. we're having to like have this discussion because it's yeah. Erling Haaland. He's done crazy numbers all throughout his career, he's proven it at every club he's played for. No one is denying his goal scoring acumen. No one's denying yeah. how good he's in front of goal. We yeah. know I even said, oh, he's probably the best striker, best, not striker, goal scorer that we've seen in the Premier League probably mm-hmm. potentially ever, right? Goal yeah. scorer. But where that stuff kicks in are games like today. Mm-hmm. Games like Liverpool at Anfield. You know? Yeah, I could give you more. You know, more. He, you know, um, he's into games, into games, into games, into in the game, final. Game against you guys, of course, they, they ended up winning 3-1. He scored, but it was a ninth minute goal when after Foden had already scored two. Uh, mm-hmm. Like I said, that's where it's important. Yeah, exactly. Any Champions team with a mid block, any season, team with a b- mid block, low block, he's not uh, that great. The big, big games. Harlan is gonna go like it's it's mad. Like I'm no, we're not criticizing Harlan as a mm. goal scorer. He's yeah. also thirty four goals, and that's enough to win your league. He's yeah. gonna, but sometimes you gotta look at something. You know, yeah. sometimes not everyone's too perfect, right? Yeah. yeah. And it's games like this mm. where it's like this is. He's shown it sometimes, mm. but now when it's like teams are now figuring out how to work against him, how to defend against him, and everything. Do you have that? other extra element in your game where you don't have to still score, mm-hmm. but now it's like they're playing with 10 men a little bit. Mm-hmm. A man less. You know, the th- Unless they can find him in, in games like this, where it is a, a low block or a mid block and mm-hmm. teams are, you know, defenders are sticking on him, they're not letting him move, they're not letting him do anything. Then he's out of the game. Can he's I, he generally yeah. marked can out I, of the game. I, and he yeah. didn't score and they drew in a big game mm-hmm. against, against Liverpool. He didn't score when they drew in a big game uh, against Arsenal. Uh-huh. Whether he scores or not doesn't matter as long as the team yeah. wins and he's involved in helping out and all of that stuff. Yeah. But that's four Even points they dropped guys. in these two big games. Rodri, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These four points in these big games that they've dropped mm-hmm. might against be the us. difference this season in winning or losing the league. Yeah, People but I think, I think, I think it's harsh though. I, don't no, know. No, I, don't I agree. No, no, I, I know yeah. it's harsh. I know it's and, harsh. Right? You know why I say that? In the, goal yeah, but in the same game, one one I'll say as well, bear in mind, same fixture last season when it was a high state game. And it's they different. Need to do, but I'm just saying, got small, well, one, 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 one guy, one guy that didn't play, one man, one guy that didn't play, got man a match today. Okay, but that's, that's again, that's okay. I understand the circumstances might have been different, but at the end of the day, in a big game where there were high stakes and they were, they were the ones that were chasing you guys, he delivered. There were games last season, maybe not in a final, maybe not in the semi final, but he delivered. For sure. on, on that journey, for sure, for they sure, wouldn't be. Sure. No, City sure. would not have won a treble without Haaland. For sure, that is a fact. You know what I think it is though. Are you gone. What I think is regarding exactly what you said, based yeah. on last season. Yeah, they had multiple options of how to find the goal. Yeah, Gundogan whereas this there. season, Morris obviously the loss of Maris, the Gundawans, yeah. these lot, they've replaced him. With the, we've speak, we're speaking off camera. The Kovacic's and all them lot. Mm. Yeah, it's like. The quality hasn't go, hasn't up been upgraded the way yeah. we we're used to with City, yeah. where they don't have to heavily rely on Harlan, Harlan to bank every week in mm. week out like he did last year. This yeah. year, they're trying to find new ways to score, but mm. it's very hard when mm. that Julian Alvarez has been underperforming this season. We yeah. can all say that. Mm. Um, Foden's Jeremy, been really good. Do, Doku since uh, Doku since Bournemouth. Hasn't yeah. been that great. But it's Grealish like, like, as well. My point to that is that it's, it's like, it's hard. Yeah, what, what's Pep Haaland what's, what's, That's not on Haaland That's though. exactly. That's so not it's, on Haaland It's based though. on, it's based yeah. on Pep mm. finding different ways to score. Because today, mm. we was at, we, we was doing the live watch along. It was kind of predictable what, what they were trying to do. Sway it side by side, yeah, yeah, yeah. put a ball into the box and see what happens. They mm. didn't have no, they tried, they, you're right. They tried to go long to Haaland, but Haaland was getting, realize, bit, Gabriel like, and, Silly just like bullying him in the air, bro. Him, it's like, what can, what can yeah, he do? That's yeah, like, you know what? That's my thing as well. No, but you see how you're saying about the styles of how you try to nullify Harden. I don't feel like as if it's the style of like mid blocks and all that kind of mm. stuff or low blocks and stuff. I feel like it's just whoever he comes up against that has got his match who's better defenders than what he's comes up, he comes up normally against. That's a, These are the players that have his number. Mm. William Saliba and Gabriel Magalesh, he can't win those battles in that style of what you said. Like, yeah. yes, it is that style, but... 
Bernie might try that style, it don't work because yeah. he physically out, out, of course, outweighs yeah. these But the thing is, not but they can beat Burnley without Haaland. We're talking about no, these no, no. games where they need Haaland yeah, yeah. and these big games. And this is why people are questioning his big game questioned. stuff. Yeah, and I know you're saying, but then isn't it a bit hypocritical for me because you, for example, mm. are the biggest advocate for when we talk about Harry Kane mm. and when he goes missing in big games, mm. you're the one that's the first to get onto him. Mm. Yeah. That's why I brought that question to you. Well, yeah. now it doesn't matter, it's fine, mm. but it's Haaland. That's what I don't understand. No, no, no. Okay, no. Okay. So because you're the point, biggest, no, 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 the biggest critic. What I'm saying with Haaland today, for example, yes, he was isolated. Yes, he had to go up against Saliba and Gabriel. But when we look at today's game, how many players on the pitch had, uh, especially in the attackers, had a poor game? Saka had a poor game today. Foden sure. had a poor game 100%. today. KDB wasn't at his best. Sure. Bernardo was out of was was didn't look inspiring at all today. Yeah. There's so many players you can pinpoint and Saka say had a very bad game. He had a very yeah. bad game. But then, do we are we giving those players the same type of energy that we're giving Haaland right now? By saying that, because Harley, you have to remember, every time he had the ball, he had three man on him. Sometimes Declan Rice was the next yeah, to him as yeah, well. Rice you would have Rice, uh, uh, Gabriel, and Saliba all on him. Good strategy, you think? It was a good strategy, you, but I'm saying it's, it, it, it makes it makes it forces City to have to find the ways of, like mm. Star said, the other players that are capable of unlocking that. Maybe they should have been able to try and force the ball out wide, try and get them, like. Get Declan Rice out wide, get mm. the other guys out wide, and then get the ball into the middle. First time touches from centre backs, from the centre midfielders, and take shots from distance mm. because that's the only way you're going to really break down low blocks like that. Mm. But obviously, like the plays that you have in your team, Sharks, mm -hmm. and the top sides with Liverpool and Arsenal, these midfielders are not hard to bypass. They're not. They're not going to get be caught lacking. These mm. Declan Rices are not people to be caught lacking. No. Yeah. It's, it's the quality do, of the players. If he doesn't players. call like his recovery is so good yeah, exactly. yeah. that he'll mm. win the ball back. But it's I mean, the quality. For sure. And moving on from Haaland, um, mm. you mentioned Saka. Yeah. So Saka, <laughs> of course, didn't have lots of games. Um, so, so the stat line, obviously, the obvious ones, no goals, no assists, which is completely fine. Uh, but no chances created, no shots on target, no shots, uh, not even any shots mm. full stop off target. Only had 35 touches, one of them, only one of them being in the opposition box. Um, zero successful dribbles, zero crosses, accurate, accurate crosses anyways. Um, and he got dispossessed four times. And, and about three of them, I remember, was like on the edge of our mm. box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, not the best against Saka. Didn't go England, England international break for precaution. Do we think he actually was carrying a knock? And no. We, and we forced no, it, I generally do don't. No, I generally don't. I, I just believe Arteta made the call. The way, exactly the same way Pep does it, Klopp does it. Whenever you're fighting. Fergie fight, did it. Whenever you're challenged for the champ, like late, late, late stages of Champions League titles, the March, the March International Week is just pure friendly. So there's no real need to call in your, your Plus, superstars. Plus, you know, Saka's going to the Euros. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like yeah. They, mm. they probably got called in, take your pictures for the new kits and stuff. Mm. Then off you go. That's why a lot more time, a lot of the international players, they might play 15 minutes, 20 minutes here. Mm. Then they're, uh, then fake an injury and get so out what of So what happened in this game? Do you think it was... Just to start it was the a, game. Yeah. We, 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 honestly, was, the watch along, if I'm watching mm. along, we, well, one thing we did notice was the role of Gvardio. Yeah, and how high up he was playing, which ended up actually pinning back Saka, because that's very true. Odin was already out there on on, on the left, anyways, mm -hmm. and then Vardy's over there, so Saka had to come back and help yeah. Ben White. So that was mm. another thing which didn't allow Saka to play his game. So but you know what annoyed me? Oh. It wasn't necessarily. It wasn't necessarily. Um, obviously, we Arsenal only had seventy odd. Uh, I mean, Man City had seventy odd possession of the yeah. ball throughout the whole game, more or less. It's what do you do when you've got the ball? And I feel like with him, obviously it is a team game. The way Arsenal tried to keep Kevin De Bruyne quiet is what Man City did mm. with Odegaard. Mm -hmm. But they've got a it's 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 just a tactical thing between the two managers. How mm. can you get the best out of these guys through certain situations? And I feel like when we did have the ball down the right, it was Ben White that was always the furthest forward. He's mm. always the one that was clipping it to Jesus yeah. or Havertz or whatever it is. But even like it must be difficult for Saka because when you don't touch the ball for maybe 10, 12 minutes and then you get it, the pitch was... Obviously, I'm, I'm, it's, it's not an excuse in my opinion. Like the, both both sides were falling over randomly mm. because the pitch mm. was slipping down coming from. But so you expect someone like Saka that's to be the only individually thing. That's the only in thing the deeper like, oh. areas, be able to match up someone and be explosive and yeah. take advantage of the defender that he's playing yeah. against. Obviously, Defenders, the players that he's he up against... double marked, to be fair. No, I know, but in today's game, with them pushing up so high... You're gonna say right when you do get your given your chance, Gavardio, take him on. What what? How can you beat him? It's not even that for me. It was more of there was times you were screaming a lot in during the live watch along where Kovacic just passed the ball back. No one was there, mm -hmm. and it was just, you know there's so many misplaced yeah. passes, yeah. and we're trying to hit him on the counter, yeah. and it's just 
it wasn't working. I, d- I don't know what it was. I felt like it, th- the height of that game mm-hmm. put the pressure on both sides, not necessarily mm-hmm. just Arsenal. You, like, if you said this last season, I would have said 95% of the pressure is on mean, Arsenal. You saw, it, you saw mm-hmm. it. Whereas this season, it's like we both, both sides were comfortable yeah, yeah, defending. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. when it came to both sides as well, they couldn't really tr- start, the, start the game from the back. More time, Raya was booing it up. Whenever Man City tried to play from the back, yeah. they ended yeah. up just kicking it to one of our midfielders. Yeah. But for me, regarding the whole game and overall with Saka, didn't have a great game, but not many of our attackers had a great game. You know what I noticed, especially with City, more so with City than I did with Arsenal, is that when they did get the ball, especially in the final third, um, they were a lot more tentative in terms of, they were a lot more scared in losing that ball. Facts. And that they weren't taking as much risk as we know they normally do. A lot of they the lost times, their recovery speed. Yeah. Yes. In Stones and, and, and Carl yeah. Walker, they had to be a bit, a bit And then and they so lost Ake as well. And Ake, yeah. 10 minutes in the same it. game. So for them, it's like they were scared that if they lose the board, the, the counter would, would, would yeah. hurt them. Yeah. So they were less, like for example, at the end, right at the end, and you saw Pep Guardiola going and giving him a bit of a uh, earful. Grealish. Grealish. He should have just played that pass in. Yeah. He had that pass to play in there, right in front of his eyes. Like he could see it. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, in, yeah. it's in his in his it's in his view and he decided not to go for it because he was probably scared to Is that a lack of confidence? Like, I, is want, that, well, I just think they I think that was across the board with everyone. I think KDB, Bernardo, there was a couple of times where they had the ball in and around the box and usually they would try that little cute pass in there or maybe they'll try, try to do something that might be a bit outside the box, but they weren't trying to do that. Because they, they were fearful the of the pass. counter. Does exactly. that show a level of respect to Arsenal? Both, both teams. Both, both teams are showing respect but to each other. Like, but showing respect to City isn't a yeah. new thing anyway. Yeah. 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 Last 10 years. Especially, especially, away, especially, especially away from home. Yeah. But at their, exactly, showing respect to them, especially, yeah, exactly, away from yeah. home. But showing mm. respect at, while they're at home against an Arsenal team, that is... Mm. That is a, a, a massive um, upgrade. I yeah. don't even, for you know, you know yeah. I, I don't recently. even, yeah. I don't even. Obviously, I g- I give Arsenal massive praise because when we left that f- game, me and CBQ were talking about it. And we was like, I was like, kind of disappointed. Yeah, we didn't yeah. like nick something yeah, out of it yeah. weird, because the game was it was that kind of game. Mm-hmm. But does this all for me stem back to Pep Guardiola? Because this season against top sides, I think they've only beaten you guys. Yeah, we're at, at home. Like so, and it's been, a lot of them has been one one yeah. one one against you guys. Spurs was three three. I they drew Spurs. They drew I don't Spurs know what the score three, was, but three, I know it was, it was a draw. I think it was three three as well. They Liverpool, drew. it was one one. Yeah, they're not that kind of team. Yeah, us it's zero zero. Like, and it's crucial. Like it, they're lucky. Like this season, Liverpool and Liverpool and like Aston Villa and Tottenham. Are, like they're good mm. sides now. They're good mm. teams now. Mm. Whereas last year, if they were to do something mm. like that. How it would have been done. You're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. So I don't know. I don't know. It might just be a Pep Guardiola. He, he need, I don't know what it's, it's, it's the personnel. The, 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 he, he had a lack personal. of person. He had a it's lack of personnel yeah. at the same time. Yeah. But also, he might have not been inspired with what he usually what he has on the bench. Usually, yeah. it used to be the Mares and these and like the Harvey had different options. This is like yeah. Today he brought on. Doku and he drew Doku quite early. Yeah. And yeah. they're both uninspiring. They both uh, wasn't really. Doku, 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 Doku brought on Tommy Asu. Yeah. Docker for me, and that's reactionary. Yeah. And I respect that because it worked. Our teta knew what he was doing and there. It worked. Yeah. Now I was gonna say, Docker for me is not a Manchester City player. Yeah. I'm sorry. I think people, I think yeah. everyone's noticed that. Yeah, he's not a Manchester City player. He sold us a dream and, with and, that, and, uh, with that yeah, one game. Yeah, he, he's not a Manchester City player. I feel like he's he he looks like a. Uh, is that unfair? Is that, I, don't, I feel like it's kind of unfair. I don't think it's unfair. I don't, you know so. I, don't th- I don't think so. No, he gets opportunities. I know he's the first season everyone. Yeah, it's like just give just give just give him time. But I don't know if he will transition transition into. The winger that they get, but I'll just try if I'm you think Pep, Pep going to be there yeah, by the time he Yeah, develops. I feel like Pep needs to tweak his strengths and heighten that more where it, that becomes OP rather than try to my kind of, Don't try to play, change it to my football. Right. There's only certain intelligent footballers that can can't, tweak yeah, their game and do that changes. kind of stuff. No, but the thing is, I don't think he's he a has wi- to, He has to drop, he has to get rid of so many bad habits that if he was to get rid of it, it would yeah. change his game. He'll be a different yeah. type of player. Yeah, he's He'll be still a very different young. Player. He's, yeah, like, he's rash, but young, yeah. Like, so. like, there's like there's the high, thing is, Grealish, like for example, he came in, record-breaking transfer fee, came in, and it's what, his third season now, and even he still struggles to nail down a place because even even at times, he still kind of looks at a place. But they used to get it masked. Doku, who's probably a bit more erratic, a bit more sort of raw, he... If, if Grealish can't do it, who's probably a bit more, I'll say a bit more disciplined. Yeah, Doku's a lot younger and earlier in his career. Yeah. Grealish is turning 29. I, but I think, oh, I wow. think. Yeah, people don't realise. I how, think how, Doku's how, at the wrong age. team. Huh? I think Doku's at the wrong team. I think he would have thrived in a team like Liverpool where it's a bit more. Um, rock and roll. Rock and roll. And he's got that freedom. It's kind of like what Luis Diaz yeah, got. Yeah, like yeah. Liverpool, like he, you, you're kind of given that freedom to express yourself, make mistakes. 
Yeah, you know, yeah find your it's, rhythm. It's, it's, it's the two wingers that they've bought to accommodate kind of like Haaland's style of play because yeah. they want someone like Doku who can yeah. try hit the line. It, it, he wants just that better delivery. At the, he wants better end product yeah. at the end, and that's fine yeah. because if he hits the byline, he beats the player. The little dink in the box, mm-hmm. Erling Haaland. Yeah. Brute force, big tall guy, headed most galore. Defenders, most defenders, most things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Same yeah, way yeah. we do with Grealish. Grealish holds up the ball, comes in a bit deeper, yep. can whip the in swinger. Yeah. Again, Haaland's there because Haaland's movement is limited yeah. and he doesn't really move around that much. The fact, the fact we have not working. Uh, the fact we haven't spoken about one person, me personally, mm-hmm. that he's got it's it's happened now twice in like in like a, in a month or two. Kevin De Bruyne, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, he's yeah, meant to be game. you know how we always talk about yeah. he's the all time like, people are already saying he's the best centre mid to ever play in the Prem you know all that yeah. stuff yeah. Yeah. games like a man like, calls Steven Gerrard the, 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 that's but, played in this league I'll be real there's a lot of people that say Kevin De Bruyne is. no but there's a lot of people that say it's Kevin De Bruyne yeah, yeah, yeah of course I've heard so, especially yeah. this, this era so for me he got hooked off against Liverpool at Anfield yeah. he could have easily got hooked off today he wasn't great Yeah, he's he's the reason like he's you know how you said Haaland last year was a 50-60 man De Bruyne was a big factor. We all know De Bruyne is a big factor in that. Like, what mm. is it this season that's... Because he started, remember, he started off hot. Yeah. I remember oh, th- when he came back yeah. in January, bro, yeah, he was Newcastle, on fire. Yeah. Yeah, but Newcastle it's these big game. games where now he's got someone that is, quote unquote, basically man marking him, trying to take mm. him out of the game like Declan Rice did. So one time he dispossessed the ball, Declan Rice, Declan Rice chased after him, just swiped, so him back swiped, and, the swiped it straight back. Yeah. And then it was like, okay, cool. Well, he we just said, I mean, Declan Rice is, like, mm. like, it's difficult, man. Declan Rice no, is probably the best player in the world for that, been kind of, that kind of aspect of his game, you know? That I think way. we're super clinical in big games like this a bit too much. Like, yeah, this I, is the big game. I agree. Big game, yeah. I agree. This and, is and, that and, game. And you yeah. even point out, like, a lot, we, we cancel each other out so much. Like, yeah. Jorginho. Oh. Like, like, we're not going to talk about every single player and everything. We're going to have all the time oh. in the world. But Jorginho oh. was marked out of the game. Oh. But I'm saying, like, you look at Pep and Arteta are both... Skin. Very, but they're very tactical managers. I knew he was they had a anyway. lot of time to think about this. He's not done. I don't no, even, no, even no, no, listen, 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 look, no, look. I'm not even having that. This is all we disagree. That's ridiculous. No, you because, know, no, because you look at, you look at, so Pep looks at Arsenal and, and, and I'll tell us say it in the same way. Which players are going to control the game for the other team? Jorginho is one of the players for Arsenal. Odegaard is one of the players for Arsenal. They're going to control but the game. Though, Declan Rice isn't going to control the game. It's cool. different though. So, no, no, no. We did the same thing with them. Rodri, De Bruyne, uh, maybe like even a bit of Bernardo Silva. What do you do? You try and take those players that are going to control the game out of the game. They did it successfully against, on Jorginho. We did it successfully on, on like the De Bruyne's. Rodri didn't even do anything too much. Rodri had to drop in deep to collect the ball, but that's which, the, but which that's he used to do. But that's, that's different. That's this different. season, Rodri has been playing that deep. This season, Rodri has been picking... I know, obviously, another reason might be because John Stone's not playing, Walker's not playing. No, no, it's not even that with Rodri. But Rodri's had to pick up the ball deeper because in he's been being marked out of the game further yeah. up the pitch, which yeah. he's had a lot of success there no, but this that, season. For me, no, I'm not saying... So I'm, not, mark, done I'm, not well necessarily, no, I'm not saying Jorginho's done... done like, like, I'm not saying... The reason why we win eight wins in a row, It's the style of the game that nullifies certain players players on that pitch it was going to be it, Arsenal's it, defensive yeah, midfield yeah. and it was going to be Man City striker those kind of games it would have mm. taken something special something out of yeah. this world to yeah. basically no, take for it, me, like, for me, I'm, not saying, I'm yeah. not saying Jorginho's done as in like he's rubbed he's washed mm. I'm just saying it as I feel like me personally I've said I've said this in the mm. chats whatever I feel like with Jorginho he's given us the stretch of games where we needed him and he's over delivered but games like today mm-hmm. Games like Porto, games against Porto, these kind of games where it's genuinely like Man City, it's legs versus legs. Mm. Uh-huh. Because at the end of the day, they're both, Pep and Arteta, they're both tactically geniuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're, they're both going to cancel each other out. So now it's how can, I know, say for example, we all know Rodri is going to have a lot of the ball. We're not trying to bring him into the like the third the the, the third half of the pitch. Mm. If that makes sense. So what does Rodri have to do? Rodri, like, yeah. cool. I've got to pick it up from my defenders. I've got to pick mm. it up from midfield. And he still has the ability to do that. Whereas Jorginho, yeah. it's like, it's hard to get him the ball. When, when, we, when he controls the ball, because obviously Man City at home, he was quality. Liverpool at home, mm. he was quality. But he didn't play that many games then. Now it's like, okay, cool. This is Arsenal's best format, best lineup at this moment in time yeah. where you need it. But the difference between Rodri, obviously, and Jorginho, it's Jorginho with the ball at his feet. On real pass, I remember yeah. the one pass he slipped into Odegaard when someone yeah. intercepted it. Yeah. Yeah. But more time, what is it? What's the difference mm. between Rodrigo oh, and um, Rodri and um, what do you call it? Um, Jorginho. Obviously, Jorginho is old. 
a lot of these guys can carry the ball yeah, out yeah. of danger. Yes. Whereas Jorginho, he's not going to do that. Rodri when, completed when, the most dribbles in the match. Exactly. And the most passes. He had control of the game. So, that's why that's seven. But, seven but th that's obviously that's why Rodri's the best because when he's not when he's not favoring when he's not favoring in the third half, mm -hmm. he's still getting himself involved in the game mm -hmm. through defense, through the midfield, whatever it is. Whereas mm -hmm. Jorginho, I was saying it. I mean, you saw me say it on the live stream uh, so many times where I'm like. This isn't a Jorginho game. As much as I love Jorginho, you just need someone but, that's got that passing, yep. uh, that passing and that legs. Obviously, you're right. Party has just come back. You can't just but throw him in the deep end. What I'd say is he's he, he's back now, and this yeah. perfect time. And we finally have a squad, a stacked squad. Now we have depth. It's the perfect time of the season to have that depth. Facts. All these fixtures coming up. Facts. Now, Tommy has But I still say Jorginho Tom, is elite. Like, exactly. don't get it twisted. I'm not fine. saying he's done because he's washed. No, no. I'm just saying his, his, his period of when yeah. we needed him, yeah. he's over exceeded what he needed to do. Eight wins in a row. Party, yeah. now that he's back. Exactly. And now we've got a game Business every, and now take, we've got a game every three days. So Party can play two. Jorginho can, I'd even play Jorginho. I'd even play Jorginho against Luton. Yeah, same. And then go Brighton away and play Party. Exactly. We'll have the option now. Tommy Asu's here now. So we can rotate Kivio on Tommy Asu. Zinchenko was on the bench. Didn't even come on today we have Ben White we have yeah. this we have that uh, okay cool um, can I yeah, say one more thing go on um, I think it would have been a different. definitely it would have been a different game if Stones and Walker played I think they would have had more license sure. to take risks and I think they would have been okay with taking those risks because they know that recovery would have been a lot better then you, I think, can, so you can say the same thing about Martin you, see, you, yeah. you made a good point to say that Arsenal played the strongest team See, he didn't play the strongest. He didn't play the strongest team. No, but Martinelli was team. massive yeah. for that no, system. No, no, Martinelli yeah. was massive for that played, system. Yeah. Oh, the way they played, Martinelli would have been huge for that game. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not saying obviously on you had Martinelli available, so he was there. Like I'm saying, that is still That's your strongest team. It's just that tactically he went for Jesus instead of. No, I didn't Martin. go for tactically. It was for injury. Right. Yeah, no, that was for injury. It was for injury. Yeah. Martinelli did the start because yeah, but he had. He's probably had a minute restriction. But I'm saying he looked like he had a minute restriction. The whole preparation, the weeks to play, he could have started this game. In my opinion, no, no, I think. No, no. Nah. Don't think he just because game. someone's nah. on the bench doesn't yeah. necessarily mean Stones they can the bench, play 90 minutes. Stones yeah. on the bench. Yeah, Stones yeah. just got, got back from yeah, injury. Yeah, exactly. Martinez yeah. just came back from injury. All right, fair. That's a fair while. point. But even then, they had more. I think their injuries hit them a lot harder. Well, what's, than this, what's, this, what's this amazing City defensive squad depth gone now? No, I'm not saying the squad depth. I'm just saying the way they played, the way they set up today, I think it would have been a lot it more. It changed because they didn't have very bit of Yes, I think, I think their profiles think, are quite similar though. Yeah. They've no, all this, got recovery speeding yeah. kind of, speedy kind think, of players at the back. I it's just that Aki it's not lost, as good yeah, as them other two. But I think they were, I think they were more comfortable when they had Aki and Akanji and I think they were okay with that. But yeah, yeah. I think I think as soon as they lost Aki yeah, yeah, and they saw Rico Lewis come out, I think that's where the, um, Rico Lewis actually is very, was no, very he's good on the ball. He was very good. Second off the ball, second off the ball I think is is Aki. Yeah, after yeah. Walker, it's Ake. Ake, Ake yeah, is yeah, massive. Yeah, yeah. For sure. And I think that's what knocked their confidence. For sure, for sure. Yeah. But um, yeah, um, it was a very, I could tell, a very mentally straining game for both teams, mm. both managers. Tactically, it was so much. Did you even see Pep in the second half? At the start yeah. of the second half. I think that was acting. Before, before the, 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 the teams that were coming out, he was the on the bench. He was on the bench, just yeah, stressed, stressed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, it was like, he just came out of changing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it wasn't he stressed? In, why is he stressed outside as well? Like, this on the bench. Stressed. Like, I think you know? he was frustrated. I think he was a bit. I think so. I, yeah. I genuinely think he's an actor. Nah, I think he was frustrated. <laughs> you've got, bro, you've got, bro, you've got, bro, you've got, bro, yeah. you've got fifty. Let's be real. You got Last fifteen minutes. You got fifteen minutes to be frustrated. You could have easy yeah. not been the first one to come out of the tunnel yeah. and just let your frustrations yeah, be. You yeah. know the, the camera's gonna be on you. As soon as he sat down, he knew the cameras is a big ass camera. Bro, they're following him. They see it. They're like this. What's he doing? He goes, you know, let me just play for the camera because uh, it's like uh, an, it's yeah. like no, I, I would have put it past him, but I genuinely let me just create some memes and stuff. I think he was yeah, a little bit. I think he was genuinely no, no, worried. He's with I think he was genuinely worried. Yeah. 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 Of course, he's stressed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a few questions of back of this game. Uh, where does this result put Arsenal and City's title chances? At the moment, Liverpool are in first. We'll speak about Liverpool after this. Mm. Um, Arsenal are in second, and City are in third. A point behind Arsenal, three behind City. Liverpool now, I believe. Uh, three and two. Yeah. Three behind Liverpool. One behind Arsenal. The one thing I do want to say, it it might, I don't know if Liverpool fans will dislike me for this, it doesn't put Liverpool in the driving seat. Mm. I'm going to tell you that now. I still think it's either Arsenal or Man City that win the league. Mm. It's, uh, I can't put my I, I can't put my finger on who it will be because but Arsenal still got a couple dangerous fixtures. We've still got to go Brighton away. We've got mm. Villa at home. Spurs we've got away. Spurs away. We've got Chelsea at home. We've United. got United away. Five, that's five out of the next nine. nine yeah. That's crazy. Mm. That's crazy. Man City, they've got, I remember reading something about Pep's playing three games in nine days before they play Bayern Munich. So we do. No, Madrid. Madrid, but, Madrid sorry. So Madrid, we do. No, we got Madrid. three games in nine days as well. So it's like, but obviously with Madrid, he's going to try and put all his eggs into the yeah. Champions League at the same time. The way, obviously, same way we are, but I feel mm. like with our depth, 
it's yeah. mad to say, but like, like, yeah, 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 it's like it's more manageable. Yes, like yeah, I, yeah, yeah, we've got more players that are kind of in formish mm. than out of form compared yeah, to yeah, yeah, Man City. Yeah. 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 So it's it, for me, it's really that. Uh, Liverpool obviously they still got Europa League as well. Regardless of the competition of Europa League and the teams that play, it will they, get tough. It will they're get still tough. it's still tough. It will mm-hmm. get tough. Do and I think don't think tough? they have the depth to maintain what they mm. need to do. But do you think your depth is a bit? I feel like your depth is different in styles. Like it's it, the stylistic change from when you have Trossard playing is so much different to Martinelli. Yeah. The same way George is completely different to Party. Yeah. I don't know whether you might you might hit one of them tricky fixtures and you might find it. A hundred percent to get a result. A hundred percent. Style changes when you choose to change. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Good point. That's actually a really good point. Um, but yeah, I mean, I agree with you. I think this weekend's fixtures, although Liverpool have gone first, I don't think much changes. I think no one's still in the driver's seat. I think th- all three teams are still. Very close. It could be yeah. any three of the teams. Um, and there's still nine games to go. And obviously everyone has their difficult fixtures. Mm. All three of us are still in our European competition. And I'm not discrediting Liverpool because no, 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 100%. they are, this they they are no, amazing This is the best result. This best weekend for Liverpool. And then again, yeah. a couple weeks ago, that was the best weekend for us. Because we, oh, yeah. we beat Brentford in the last minute, Havertz, and then Liverpool and City drew. Yeah. Exactly the same. So nothing has changed. Like, you know what I mean? City, and now Liverpool are just undisputed first round for now. But um, it's still tight between the three teams. Mm. Um, and finally, is the mentality of this Arsenal awesome they're different in comparison to previous years. I think the same. Uh, answer, uh, yes. a, th- a thousand percent. A thousand percent. We're, like, we're, not, we're not. We're not. We're not rolling over now. We're not turning out. We're not. We're not. We're not rolling over yeah. now. We're not. We're not easy to beat. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. I think you would uh, approach the games better. And that's I think the mentality, the mentality of approaching the game of not being so <coughs> expecting to win of certain games of mm-hmm. the games that you dropped from last year. And also, but say, even like not expecting to to lose certain games. We'll go yeah, to yeah. Etta last season or uh, uh, Anfield or if you, yep. see, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already defeatist mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So definitely, As especially today. Attention. Like, I I, we I, can all sit yeah. on the table and go. Yeah. If I asked, uh, we are. Uh, I if I, I could confident. ask everyone to say, "Oh yeah, what's your prediction?" You yeah. said to me, "I can see City win, but I'm not surprised if it's a draw." Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'd assume the same with you, I Sean. I thought it was a low-scoring game. Yeah, I just I didn't know which way it would go. So that's it, what I'm saying. Yeah. But that's credit to how Arsenal yeah. have gone and changed their mentality of how they play. I think also there's a lot of leaders in that team now. For sure, I think with That's Declan Rice coming in, and, yeah. and, and I always refer to that as that video of when he joined the club and when Arteta asked him oh, if he had any, any any words, and and he right from the bat you could see he already wanted to be that that voice in the team, and it shows on the pitch. You have obviously Saliba. The difference as well, another difference from last year to this year is you got Saliba. Saliba got injured last year it, it coming into the running. And that's a, that was a big figure. That was a big so loss. People don't understand that, man. Yeah, yeah. That was a big loss. And now you have, I would say on the pitch, you have about four captains on that pitch. Mm. You've got Jorginho, who's a captain. He's a leader. Odegaard's You've got Club Ra- Rice. Captain. You've got Odegaard. He's yeah, basically Gabriel's the, the leader. official captain. Yeah. But for me, I don't Odegaard's look at... club and country captain. Yeah. There's, so, there's so many kind of leadership Odegaard's stuff. been a professional footballer since he was like 13. 13. No, no, but... Uh, Gabriel yeah. might not wear the armor for anywhere, but yeah. he is a leader. You can tell he's a leader. For me as well, Ben White's a leader. In, in terms of what he does on the pitch, I he's not verbally yes, a leader, yes, but yes, yes, yes. on the pitch, how much work he puts in. But, but yeah. yeah, regardless, it's, it's a good yeah. point. We have yeah. a team for the leaders. We have a big team now. Yeah, um, I don't think I think Od- Odegaard's more the image. Like he's the captain, but by like face. No, no, no. Trust me, that no, but, Porto no, game, I realized. No, 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 Porto, but, trust no, me. What I say is, I, I I look at the other guys more in terms of Declan Rice, uh, Saliba, and Gabriel, especially those three. I feel like. They're like the 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 main voice. They're the nucleus. Yeah, the nu- like, that's it. That's I'd the say best. Gabriel or that's the best Saliba word. for sure. Huh? I want to put Saliba in that. Best word for the science teacher. Saliba similar to Odegaard. Saliba similar to Odegaard. He leads by example. Yeah. Like in terms of how he plays. Not by le- like leadership. No, but Gabriel think, is. No, but I say all three. I think as a unit, those yeah. three, I think together, it's like they're the glue of that team. It's a whole team of leaders. Because I'm not going to lie. There's so much more in dressing room. Yeah, yeah, Like Eddie and Kate is a big leader. Yeah. Huge leader. Especially for the anyone like around his age or younger, yeah. he's a huge leader. Mm. During Timberson, when he first came to the squad, Eddie and Kett was the first one that put his arm around him and, and helped him through a lot mm. of things. All of that crop of players, Eddie and Kett. So we have a lot of leaders mm-hmm. uh, and that's definitely a big thing um, yeah, yeah. that we've we've had in this team. Okay, moving on now. Liverpool versus Brighton. Um, this is the other game that happened on the Super Sunday, the earlier game. Um, Liverpool won the game 2-1. Um, Brighton going up 1-0 in the second minute. Danny Welbeck scoring the first goal of the game. Great finish that was, by the way. From a former United and Arsenal man. Mm-hmm. Um, and then um, Luis Diaz equalised. And Mohamed Salah and Ramadan, whilst fasting, scores the winning yeah, goal. There needs to be a study on, on, on players playing uh, during Ramadan. Well yeah. during Ramadan. Like Kyrie as well. Kudus also on the weekend. Yeah, Kyrie you got and Buzzy Beaters and that. Salah. Yeah, you get me. You got sp- <laughs> it's something. There needs to be a study. <laughs> proper study. Yeah, yeah literally. Study that, literally. So. But yeah, Liverpool won the game 2-1. Um, just again, they just keep... 
They keep being on the fortunate side of one goal victories. It's not a fluky thing as well. But they're dominating. They've been been doing it all season. Yeah, of course. They, they. It's like, but you're right. They dominate the game, and then they they get what they deserve at the end. Um, They give me. They give me. um, But they they give me them sides where they let other. They let teams have chances though. They are very dangerous. Potent, whatever you want to call it, yeah. going forward. Yep. Defensively, they're solid, obviously, but they're different. They got different personalities. Like Kwanzaa playing today, like Keller play, yep. Keller, mm-hmm. they had Bradley, and they yep. still yeah, for sure, it'd do do crazy and stuff. The, and what you said as well, where they let other teams uh, get involved, get into the game. This first line literally says that Liverpool have won seven games this season, which they have been behind mm-hmm. in the game. It's their most their joint most in a single Premier League season. There's still nine games to go. Yeah. They've been yeah. behind seven times, When's and they've stop? won. They don't even drawn. No, that's you know what I mean. That's twenty-one points from losing positions they've mm-hmm. got, which is uh, that's a huge, yeah. huge difference. Um, McAllister uh, has provided as many assists for Liverpool in the Premier League as he did for unreal. Brighton in ninety-eight games, but in Liverpool he earned in twenty-four games, which is five. Um, since Mohamed Salah joined Liverpool, there have been eight instances of a player being involved in thirteen plus goals against a single opponent in the <laughs> Premier League. <laughs> so disgusting. he loves playing against Brighton. Um, and um, young club has now won at least one game against every manager he's faced um, more, more than once in the Premier League. So he's been every single manager he's come up against. I mean, look, listen, what can we say about Liverpool? There's another game they've won, another game they've, you know, come back from behind. Wait, say that. Young club starting. Young game. club has now won at least one game against every manager he's faced multiple times in the Premier League. So every manager he's, he's faced, faced in the Premier League, once, no, at more than once. So if he's faced a manager more than once, he's beaten him at least once. Yeah, so if you're he's there fa- seven years... He's beaten every manager he's faced in the Premier League. Seven, so what, seven times, Premier 14, League. yeah, yeah. He hasn't beaten Ten Hag twice. No, he's once. beaten at least him one, at yeah, least once, but he's seen him twice. Yeah, yeah but he's yeah. played yeah, that's what I mean. That's a, yeah, okay. it's yeah. a bit of a gazy stat. Yeah, but, yeah, that is a gazy stat. Uh, but, no, but he's beaten every manager. There's no manager that like, can say, like, you haven't beaten me. Yeah. 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 And if there is, they've only played him once. Yeah. They haven't given him a chance of rematch. That's basically what it is. Yeah. It's like, for example, it's like... like, Okay, George St. Pierre. Yeah, he's, mm. he's not undefeated on MMA. He's got mm. two losses. Mm. But those two people he lost to, he's beaten them. Matt Hughes and Matt Sarah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, no man can say, I haven't beat. No man I've fought in the cage, I have not beat. Like, so he's had a GBG thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's what Klopp is saying. Like, yeah, I've beaten yeah, yeah. everyone I've faced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, So yeah, that's a cool start. But yeah, what can we say about Liverpool, man? And, no. you know. Bro, they've got that. They, they, yeah. they got that. It means more this season for them, man. That it means more. Trophy. It was a wonder strike, innit? Yeah. That, that, but that's what I'm saying. A lot of their goals that they've conceded, like Star says, they give up chances like that here and there. But like that today was a, just a wonder strike quite early. But then it doesn't un- it doesn't unsettle them. But then again, I, 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 with the Brighton side, they leak so many chances. They don't Bro. even dominate games like that. So it's like it kind of was just going to be like that style. If if that goal never came early, yeah. it would have been one of those performances where Liverpool dominate the game for the majority of the game. Can they just take their chances? Can they break? Can they open the deadlock? Yeah. Break the deadlock, and yeah, th- obviously the goal came quite early into the first half. Anyway, t- for them to come back. Yeah. Now my so thing with Liverpool is one thing I de- cre- definitely credit them is that they, no matter what the situation is, the game, no matter what adversity is thrown at them, they mm. will always create. Yeah, they ridiculous always. amount of chances. Doesn't matter. And that's what always gets them. Like that stat you said about him, them dropping, coming back after mm-hmm. what yeah. seven games. Yeah. From going down first, yeah, it it's because them. they it doesn't unsettle them. They're mm. not faced. They always believe in. They believe in themselves. They yeah. believe that they can, regardless of the situation, we can always outscore you. They knew it was coming. Yeah. We all knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. Everyone we were saying it like, yo, yeah. they're down. I predicted it. It was one yeah, one when I came to come the, back. when I came into the studio. Yeah. It was one. I came at half time. It was one one. Mm. Liverpool and signed I the right The food was here. I said, Hamid Salah winner. I generally yeah, you did. You did say that. Yeah, yeah. We all knew it was coming. And a big reason for today, anyways, where you said they're going to keep having chances. Connor Bradley. Yeah. To be fair today, it was very impressive. Mm-hmm. Um, let me get up uh, his numbers today. Mm-hmm. He had the highest, uh, what's it called, Comrade in the first half, he had the highest expected assists, most draws won, most ball recoveries, most chances created, and most take-ons completed. Um, so yeah, he had a very, very so- solid game, especially in the first half. Mm. Um, yeah, Comrade Bradley, man, has he taken that right back spot and made it his own? To be honest with you, obviously Trent is still... <laughs> still no, nah, but they, people are saying he's a midfielder. Oh, to be Trent? He's a midfielder, yeah. He's not a midfielder. I agree with uh, you. I agree with you. He's not a midfielder. He's definitely, he's definitely a right back. But the thing with Trent is that... It happens. Um, <laughs> as, in like, as in like, you know how like when someone picks up form yeah. at the right time, you start to wave and start to question like, oh... Is he better? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we... We can... Because there'll be Liverpool fans going, you know what? If we sold Trent Alexander-Arnold <laughs> yeah. in like 2026, 
We've got Connor Bradley. Like, yeah, I agree though. I agree. We're, I have, we're that having, we're having, no, that I, I, I we're having no. that as well. No, but here, here, mm. what I'm saying is, I'm like, obviously uh, Reece James. Uh, not telling like, you. If you said, Perfect. That's the next. Yeah. One, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's that's what what James. yeah. But the yeah. thing is, I, I was telling you. And now Reece James has been linked to to being sold at the end of the season. What was I saying to you before the pod? I think you should shot um, I agree. I, I agree. think Gusto, uh, Gusto, Gusto is the real deal. We'll talk about it. It's the truth. Yeah, yeah, we'll but Chelsea. it's the same. Okay, the thing is, obviously, Trent, he's a Liverpool boy. Like, he is, he's like the poster boy for Liverpool. Like, obviously, you've got most out like that. But in terms of being born and bred in Liverpool, being a Liverpool boy, like, captain. it's like Rashford with United. You've got that, that person that's, that's like, massive mural. But according yeah, to Ilias, he's, he's Mr. Liverpool. Yeah, according to Ilias, right Connor, Connor is also yeah. part of the Liverpool upbringing. He's a Scouse boy as well. Yeah, no, but this is my thing. I'm like, apparently, who? if remember Ilias said that um, Connor Bradley was Scouse. Oh yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. He's he's he said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, he tweeted it. He says Northern no, yeah. Irish, no. Okay. Yeah, he's Northern yeah, yeah. Irish, but yeah. Elias thought he was Scouse. But he probably came for the academy, so he probably thought, yeah, that's a, that's a, yeah, yeah, Elias man. But I was gonna say, um, now you threw me off, bro. <laughs> oh. Sorry, man. No, no, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. What I was saying was that obviously with Trent, <laughs> what's new? It, it, I, if I was, if I was in, if I was FSG right now and a, and a huge offer came for Trent, I wouldn't be like, oh no, no, that it's it's a no, it's a like it's a no sell. Like we're not gonna give him yeah, up. No, it, like, shouldn't it shouldn't be because at this point, I think call me crazy. I think defensively, I'm Colin crazy. Colin Belly's, um better. I think it's better than Trent defensively, and obviously not to the same magnitude as Trent, but he can provide a lot. Going forward as well, so if you got a player like that, a defender like that, that at that age, so raw can def- defend really well, but also give you a lot going forward. Yeah, but they've also the man you're talking about has the most assists in Premier League history. That's the fine. Fans. That's fine. But I'm, of course, he's still young. He can develop. His game will only get better. Mm-hmm. And if he's able to do what he's doing right How now, how old is Connor forward, Bradley? Does anyone know? By the time he gets to Trent age, he maybe. could probably do a lot of what I'm not saying maybe to the level like Trent's 20. doing it right now, but he can do a lot. Mm. He could do a lot going forward. I just feel like I it's think it's not it's not a bad shot to get rid of uh, to to say let's say uh, if they decided you know what we'll we'll we've got a big offer coming for Trent we'll get rid of Trent and we will put all our eggs on mm. on Connor Bradley I don't think that's a bad but shot you know what it is it's you got to understand as well with Connor Bradley we don't know what kind of system he can play in as well mm-hmm. after the next next manager yeah. when Klopp leaves because he might have a great stint now of what he's doing mm. hypothetically if. Ruben Amarim or something because since Chabi is out of it and I've been reading a lot about Ruben Amarim if he comes in is that the kind of right back that he wants can he excel in that situation we don't just, know yeah. but with Trent it's like you can't like he's them it, as you said with Rashford I feel like Trent is one of them Thanks. untouchable players where mm-hmm. Can play any yeah. kind of system, any kind of way of As football. a new manager coming in, you want to see Trent. It's, it's, it's Trent. It's Trent that you want. I agree. And, and, and I think that's Bradley's a perfect backup. Yeah. yeah. But that's the thing. The season yeah. is long, and you'd never know who's going to get injured. And yeah. the thing is, is like it's not even like as if you've got a limited amount of games nowadays. When you're playing in Europe now, the rotation that's available for teams is massive, and that's what Pep mastered. He was able to bring in players at times, rest mm-hmm. certain other players, give other people game time. And Connor Bradley is one of those players that he can rotate Trent with. It's, the season's long. And you have to keep everybody on side in a squad like that nowadays to be able to win the league because the team that does win the league every year mm. has that in their team. You need yeah, that. They and they're always in four competitions. Yeah, Liverpool, when Liverpool always go deep in all four competitions. The one thing I do give... But going back to this game, go on. Yeah, the one thing I do... I've got two things to say cool. that, I, that I, give, I give Klopp and I give the midfield credit for. The, one, the first thing with Klopp, he's... The one thing I love about him compared to Arteta and Pep, he's got so many ways to hurt someone. Mm. Whether it's, like you said, whether it's, they'll shoot outside the box mm. if they have to. Mm. They'll play yeah, the intricate the pass in the middle. Like they'll like they'll beat the player and strike the ball. They're so mm. unorthodox. They're so different mm. where you and don't then, know you don't know what you're getting with them. Like what kind of goal you're getting with them. And then they'll Arsenal. have those intricate goals like the Salah winner where Sports Life fans, McAllister, McAllister, Fred's in the ball and behind uh, so I like goals, and, yeah. then, and like yeah, I said, like it could be from Bradley, yeah. it could be from uh, yeah. Robertson to Miskas, it could be a set piece, it could be McAllister, it could be wh- whatever. They have so many ways to hit you, exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. So for me, that's definitely one of the things where I'm like, I give them so much credit for because I don't think anyone else in the, in the league has that bar mm. them. Mm. The second thing is, I think their midfield has finally gelled. It mm. took them a while, but their midfield's fine. I'm I'm still not high on Sabosla. I can't lie. Mm. Mm-hmm. He's a very, he's a very good like. He can, yeah, he can play football. He's, yeah. he's fit. Uh, yeah. He's got like a lot of fitness. On he's a good, good, he's like, not good looking like that, but as like, he's fit in terms of, he's got <laughs> fitness and stuff. He's so fit. He's so fit. I didn't use the word so. That's crazy. Uh, what you call it? But regarding that, but I feel like especially Endo and McAllister, mm. 
Yeah. It's because that McAllister. That is 60 million or something like that of those two. And they've mm. been on real, man. But you know, yeah. it's because of McAllister's showing of what he can do going forward has kind of fought to clock. Or maybe I don't need to play Sobo because McAllister's actually given me quite a little bit of productivity going forward, finding the passes in the pockets, in the channels. Mm -hmm. But, that's, but would Salah you not today. blame Klopp on that? Because he tried playing him as the six. And we everyone everyone knew. Yeah, we knew he was McCall a six. is not a six. Yeah, we knew he was. McAllister yeah. is an eight. His, main, his, his best attribute, his best position is a ten. Can't so play eight. Yeah, he can play the eight yeah, ten. Yeah, he's an eight ten. He's on the yeah. yeah. Oh, he's okay. a hybrid. He's a hybrid. It took, it took him a while yeah. to get Endo to be who Endo is at the six now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. at, which excels and brings McAllister into who he is now, which mm -hmm. is the person think, we all looked at at Brighton and went, "This guy's." The do you think the team's playing on adrenaline though? Like terms of like, do you think they're playing on the fact that they know that it's Klopp's last season? Uh, it means more. I it think. More. I think at home. I don't know yeah. about yeah. away. Yeah. I think at home they definitely do. Yeah. Even Which, though that away record's really good, I just feel like the back end of the season there's yeah. going to be. I don't see you them saying that. I don't see them losing from now to the end of the season. Yeah. Yeah. At, at Anfield. I don't see them losing the Anfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, they haven't lost at Anfield. Yeah. They don't. They yeah, but I'm saying I feel like they're gonna keep that record on from now to the end of the yeah, season. Yeah. I don't think they're losing the game at Anfield, but it's where the, it's where away from home is where you, I start to question and see. Well, who do we have to rely on? Because who where are they going away? United they're going Old Trafford, so yeah. gotta rely on you guys. They're yeah. going Fulham away. Fulham this season have been good at yeah, home. Tricky, man. Yeah. They'll have they've had some five nils. You know mm. they beat you guys at their ground, right? I'm, I'm sure. Beat us. I'm sure. Beat us. Uh, did they yeah. beat us? At, no, you guys Bruno Fernandes scored last week. They, they beat you at us. Old Trafford, they beat us. Well, yeah. we're not a big they're, team. But I'm saying, and they've had a couple of weeks where they went 5-0, 5 no back-to-back yeah. weeks. Uh, they're going Everton away, didn't, Goodison Park. Didn't they go... Um, yeah, didn't they West Ham away is a tough one for them. Wasn't yeah. it a last-minute winner against Fulham? And Villa away. At uh, Anfield. Wasn't a last minute. Villa away might be like the might be the depth. trickiest one. At Anfield, At Anfield. What was the four four game. The whole from I remember four, it was. Four. It was yeah. where the only score screamers. Trent scored uh, two. Trent scored yeah, a Fulham. Kick. Yeah, yeah, Fulham. McAllister scored screamer. Yeah, yeah. Endo scored. Four three. Four, four three. Yeah. Four three. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. the, Liverpool. I was like, that's when I was like, these guys are jarring, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I think it's a different Fulham now, man. They got they got a boy. Yeah. We're going to talk about him today. That can't trigger Munis. Yeah. We're going to talk about him today. Scary man. Okay. Let's 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 hear from some. Let's hear from a Liverpool from a Liverpool fan, Alex Tech. Uh, Alex Tech says, uh, "Horrific officiating. Coot had a Hall of Shame refereeing performance, but that's what happens when a Man United super fan refs Liverpool." I, I, I de going to, obviously I want to say that, but Anthony Taylor today was shocking, right? You got paid today, brother. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he gets paid to do a job. Yeah, right? but my man, see. <laughs> oh, extra payment. Um, okay, your Scott Alex Tex also says McAllister's vision and weight of pass today was phenomenal. He is world class. 35 million, by the way. Mm -hmm. It's a bargain. 65 Man of the match Endo. today. Endo's role allows him to play the way he did today, so he deserves credit as well. As long as those two start, I don't care who the third man is. That's exactly what I said. That's what you mm. said. That's exactly what I said. Uh, he also says, Quanza looks very comfortable and established now, and another solid performance from Joe Gomez too. True. He, 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 he had that. You know, if, if they had a most improved award in the, in Gomez, the Premier League, he's, yeah, in yeah, he's, he's in that conversation. He's been a long serving at Liverpool. He was there when Bro, Sturridge was, was there he was and he's still there now. Mm. He was yeah. washed, he was he washed for a couple of years. Himself. He's revived himself. Got an England call up as well. Deservedly. Came on like, SDS. Good times, bro. Well, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, but he's had the good times. Um, and that might be the reason. Part of the reason, you know. Might be. Now he's probably going to go to the Euros. Uh, nah. th the final bullet point I think he will go The final will. bullet point Darwin might have yeah. seemed Anonymous at times But his movement To drag <laughs> defenders Out of space For Salah And Diaz to attack Is thankless But necessary He so creates thankless It is thankless Like no one's gonna Praise that But it's oh, necessary yeah. I, yeah. Thought yeah, I thought he said S-T-A Yeah I thought he said Oh stankless, stankless. Yeah, yeah, I, I said yeah you're right, But yeah. I don't want to Say he was right It's <laughs> thankless But necessary He creates without Being involved Which is frustrating For a striker But he's a team player No could that You say that weird man He says thankless again why do, you, why do you say thankless Is thankless So when I say it fast It's thankless It's thankless Yeah you said it again though. Yeah, I do. I'm yeah. yeah. fucking. I'm sitting next to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm His <laughs> movement to drag uh, defenders out of space uh, and for Salah and Diaz to attack is thankless. Yeah, now, now, you thankless. now you said thankless. Now you said thankless. Now you said thankless. Yeah. It's thankless. Why do you say it's thankless? It's yeah. thankless. Yes. There you go. Fine. There you go. Thankless, it's because the word before is is, so the S you're carrying it on. That's why. Okay. Have a little breather. Is. Sharky talks at speed, man. Come on, man. Thankless. There you go. There you go. Thank you. It's thankless, man. It's thankless. 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 It's
Chelsea. I just want to know why Conor uh, Gallagher would like that black kid. <laughs> <laughs> Proper Chels Yeah let's start there yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper Chels That's what, that's what Chelsea man say He gets it man He gets it <laughs> <laughs> That's that captain He gets it Oh my let's god Let's start there we Why saw did the you like him Why did you like him <laughs> well, You patted yeah. him on the back And then yeah. he saw the high, high five And, and he looked at him He looked at him Directly in the eye as well And he still What did he say He just looked him in the eye And he still at him Oh, did But what did he say in his head He said I don't want to say it I cannot say it on camera No you know, nah, he, I don't did know. He, did he have to do like an apology or something? Nah, nah. So usually not. people get he, this I think, like that. I don't know, man. He, Pat it is back. Chelsea, I don't know though. He's so probably zoned in. Like, yeah, he's zoned in. Like, sometimes yeah. you might you'll look he at might someone not even, and you'll yeah, see you're not through even them. Yeah, it's true. Like Levi, no, especially about that. Come on, man. Yeah. But Levi, I would have did that. But I would have ever black kid, though. I would have did that. That's great. I hope not. I'm any kid. I hope not. But yeah, so. I'm talking about Part of the blame is the kid as well. I like to say, yeah, the kid why the hell am I? I'm a two kids with Conor Gallagher. You already said hi to you. Why, you tried to ask why, why am I that guy for Conor Gallagher? He's ass. Like, why am I getting that excited for Conor Gallagher? Like, <laughs> he's a skipper, man. He's a skipper. But sure, I respect him though. But Sean, um, obviously, home game. Did you manage to go? No, no, no I stayed at home. Okay, good. good is, is that good. right? The choice yeah, you I'm, wanted I'm to do? I'm tired. Like? I'm tired. I'm tired. Good, good. good. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. I don't blame you. But obviously, home game. Um, you know, it should be a routine when you're playing <laughs> bottom of the league, Burnley. You know, um, they have ten men for most my, of the, most my, of the game. Their manager gets sent off as well in the first, end of the first half. Mm-hmm. Uh, What's that a penalty? The first, uh, okay, listen. The first fifteen minutes of the game, we were getting pammed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is this? Mm. We're getting popped it's at home mm-hmm. to Burnley. Yep. What's going on? <laughs> and and I'm like, thank God I'm not there, bro, because mm. like, I'm, but then. The magnitude of the games now, it's like, we don't have really Europe to fight for. Like, maybe it's beneficial for some of these players that don't get games next year to play in Europe. We fight for Europe, eighth and seventh and that, cool. <laughs> yeah. But why are you still not if you're even getting there. Yeah, but we might not even get there anyway. But then yeah, I'm thinking yeah. to myself, should we win these games and just stay out of it and just try and focus again? But that's what we tried to think last year. We're not even in the competition. <laughs> no, but surely though, you finished and we still, last season. Yeah, and look now. You're course to finish 11th or 10th yeah. this season. No. That's progress. When are you going to finish the mid table? When, when are we going to have like a summit, like some sort of conference? Okay, this, this, this big this tweet summit. Yeah, because true though, why do we need to have a summit? Why does no one no, care? No, 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 we need to have a summit, man. Like we need to have some sort of uh, dipl- like, diplomats. You know, have like the a Chelsea diplomat. fans care. Chelsea. Bro. We need the to big six. Come on, we need to have. We have. We need to have. You've been claiming big six for years. Liverpool claimed big four for years. They finished like. Five or six years out of the top, uh, top four. four. Top four. Top you guys only no, no, finished no, top five ten. as well. Yeah, five, okay, five. Okay, they but finished like yeah, six, seven. Yeah, but we okay. never did okay. that. Six, seven. At least you we still twice of Emery. Okay, but were you consider Liverpool big four team back then? Listen, but the thing is though, at least I don't have to go on the next page to yeah, see, yeah, the, to on, see on. Of the table Bottom to half. see you to see your team. I have to go on the next page. Back to back seasons. We're not going to finish in the second bottom. You might. You season. might, though. No, we, we, we're might. not. We won't. But let's talk about this game. Let's talk about this Okay, but this game. Okay. <laughs> First 15 minutes, we'll get <laughs> panned. I, I, I was a bit right. worried. Yeah. I tuned into this game from the minute yeah. one. Because I a joke, said, man. I, that, that's part of it. But another reason is, wh- wh- whoever chance to play, they're giving the other team a chance, whether it's home it's or away. It's entertainment. Well, like, it literally right, is. Yeah. And that's the one thing I love about Chelsea Football Club. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It could be ten men. Could be because like, when they when what you call it? We'll talk about the penalty. Yeah, you guys. I don't know what it is, man. Like, bro, Liverpool signed Endo and Alexis. <laughs> we signed Enzo and Moises. We signed. <laughs> we signed the <laughs> two. Hello, a lot uh, more, a lot bro. More hella bread, fam. They, like you said, sixty-five million on them two man. Yeah, thirty. We signed 30 the wrong piece. Brighton player. <laughs> we saw. We signed. We signed mm. the wrong end, Enzo. We should have signed Endo. Mm-hmm. Like where we're asking for Enzo to come pick up the ball, people Sound are the start- wrong Benfica players, well, man. Sound the wrong Benfica should have grabbed Jan Nevis, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's very very Enzo, man. Yeah, but like, bro, it's just mm. we started to dominate a little bit further on into the second half of the first half, but it's just. But why is that though? No, but like we we just started to get a bit more control of the game because we were really under the cosh. I'm just like, bro, they're getting bare chances. Obviously, the booking. That guy got the first book in. What was his name? Um, As- As- Asignon or something like yeah, that. Yeah, uh, the guy who who got sent off. Uh, yeah, Asin- Asignon. Asignon or something like that. Yeah, like his first yellow was a bit harsh. Then we got the penalty. He goes down quite easy. It shouldn't really be a pen. That is but a pen. Yeah, that if you're putting pen. your arm on someone's shoulder, you're yeah. asking for trouble. Yeah, and then yeah, especially yeah. when you're on the yellow, you're in the box. It's a clear score. It was, score score opportunity. It was like, it was soft to go down. Yeah, it's soft. But, but it, it's still, it was yeah, still a penalty. You're asking like, for You've trouble. done enough to, give, yeah, to yeah. let him go down, basically. But... 
the performances from certain play, like the performances from a lot of these guys, man, <laughs> we're just expecting from. Was Tim Sherwood right? Was Tim Sherwood right? What's, Sherwood right? What's that? When he spoke to Cole Palmer. What did he say to Cole Palmer? Tim Sherwood, I didn't see it. No. Post match, you guys didn't see that oh. video. No, no, no. no. What? Post match, I can't remember what game it was. Uh, Tim Sherwood, it was known as the pitch side interviews. Mm. You know what I mean? So I don't know what media company Sherwood was working for. Yeah. But he said, and it was proper unprofessional. It was so unprofessional. For oh, yes, this is yeah, a while ago. So I think it was recently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's that mad long, No, but I mean, I, mean, like, I thought you were talking about the recent game. Tim Sherwood, but he's saying to Cole Palmer, basically, they're mm. doing really well, but your teammates aren't good, basically. So you, you, yeah. need, you need better teammates around That's what Sean wants to hear. And the question Sean wants to hear. Cole Palmer's awkward. He's like, no, um, uh, we have a good team. We have a good young players. Blah blah. Bro, but that's that's <laughs> that what even a presenter would have to swiftly yeah, move yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, like. But, but why? So I can't. I know. I know. It's crazy. Yeah. Why can't you ask them kind of questions? I, well, I in the era of Z, yeah. they don't give a crap. I need transparency, say, bro. Did you not see the Jordan Henderson one? Yeah, they stuck yeah. on him. They literally said, yeah, "You've been said, playing yeah, ass." Yeah, yeah. I, I used to be playing as you've been playing yeah, ass. Yeah, What's the reason behind it? Don't come from. I like that. You're right. You're right. And then he saw Jordan Henderson. He was like. Bro, give me yeah, that. Whoa, yeah, yeah. And then he even said, oh, that's your opinion. And, and he didn't, don't, don't hey, like it. You didn't play that. No, 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 no. You didn't play that. What's your thoughts? It's not an opinion. The guy, Jordan Head is like, yeah, that's your opinion. He goes, no, nah, that's not an opinion. You definitely played ass. What's your yeah. reason? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but Bro, like, I cried. That's, just, uh, I, that's journalism I need. That's, that's the journalism. I can't lie to you. Mm. That's real journalism right there. Yeah. You don't shoot, no sugar coating, no play behind the bush, straight to the point. You ass, boy. <laughs> but you're, answer, you're answering. That's why you you're ass. answering every, obviously it's, it's, it's a club. They're trying to look yeah. professional yeah. stuff like that. But as, as a fan, that's the questions you want to yeah. hear. So, yeah. Like you go to a game, you'll go to a game, you'll go to a game. If your team's playing us, you want the you want the, the reporter to go to the player yeah. and go, guys didn't play great today. You didn't play great today. What's the reason behind it? Yeah. Give us a real answer. I, I don't yeah. like stroking the egos of these players that have cost so much money and keeping them away from the limelight and the questions because at the end of the day, they, they, should, they the, should get mm. they should get Spanish journal uh, Spanish translators journalists to speak to Enzo yeah. and most yeah. 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 Yep, you right. guys are ass. Yeah. Why? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right, yeah. and what? that's what I want. But like, that's why it's yeah, like, yeah, you're right, you're right. One person right. deserves a lot of love is obviously Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer's oh, been I'm excellent. What I don't, can I don't, that guy do? He was he, the only player on the pitch that day that actually played well. Like, mm. Marlo Gosto has been one of our more consistent players. Oh, like, I really like him, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very good. Defensively, weren't great that day, but um, oh, the bird had him still. Uh, Kukurea's back as well. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, he's shown the like sideshow. He don't like sideshow. Kukurea, Desassi. Disaster class, Axel disaster. Yassi. That's what you call yeah, it. How's this a billion dollar team? Ted DiBiase. 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 No, like, yeah, but this is what he's been no, but, decent. No, but this is no, but no, no, he's been, oh, no, he's been <laughs> petrified. <laughs> he's petrified. Yeah, well, he's he's petrified. 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 Petrified is petrified. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but like I'm, that's I'm, a cool I'm, one. I like that. Expressions that's what he'd be like. Yeah, yeah. he would be playing well. Yeah. Yeah. Petrified. Yeah. No, they were there, man. Yeah, no, they were there. Oh, it's just these players, bro. Dead. This is why, like, an hour after the game's gone. Rory, Rory, big up Rory, man. But like Rory, instantaneous. Boom. Hour later. Potch out, like yeah, he's there. it's just potch out. Like I'm like, bro, like we need to just uh, like. Uh, do you I've, think I've, he films it before the game or after the game? He might, but I think he's already pre-recorded. Rory, yeah, he probably pre-recorded the game, but he's like, he like, had yeah, it. Bro, I can do that now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Right now, I'm filming. I can film the end result, film the whole thing, match analysis. I know what's happened. It, it's happened every week. You said the same yeah. things. Enzo not good Enzo's enough. Enzo not good enough. And it works. Just release it. And you can, yeah, you can have a hundred in the bag, and it we can release it every week. New T-shirt on. Boom. It works. <laughs> but it's it's about a, a portion in like portion in the blame yeah. to certain people. Yeah, it's like you can't blame Poch. Like mm. we, we've got so we've got a multitude <coughs> of problems at the club. The owners don't know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. The director of footballs that are in charge are not standing ac- accountable for the signings that they made. Mm-hmm. The players are mediocre. They're not. They're not. There's a lot Can of you mediocre. Give us a couple players. names. This sounds familiar. mediocre players. No, but, this it, but this, familiar, it's, it's a broken record. But it's just well, your club. This sounds familiar. It man. is. And this it's is what I've always said. So me and your, <laughs> mine and your yeah. club over the years. Like when I said post Fergie, mm-hmm. all the signings that you made, it, no matter how much money you spent on them, mm-hmm. how many of them have been successful? They've all been crap. Yeah. Like the players that you're signing are just not good enough. And mm-hmm. then people talk to me, oh, this is a project. This is whatever. Some players are good enough as youngsters to be leaders, to be better players. Mm. They've got it in their genes, their game. 
I said to Stars before the before mm. earlier on when we walked to the shop, I was like, Connor Bradley is young, but he comes in. Look at the demean, look at the demeanor he has. Look yeah. at the way that he plays. He mm. plays like as if he's been playing for three years. Mm. It doesn't matter about experience. Then they talk about game experience. Yeah. Oh, how many games have they played? Well, why did we sign some of these guys for a hundred plus million pounds <laughs> if they only played sixteen games? And now people are starting to do props on certain players, but then. That's down to the fact that the guys that they've been propping the whole season are not performing. Conor mm. Gallagher has been <laughs> arsed for 15, 16 games. Mm. They've got him in player of the season talks with Chelsea. He's been shit for oh ages. My. He's player actually been crap. Mm. He's been rubbish for ages. Like you're talking about Gusto and Palmer yeah. are the only two consistent only two players, players. Yeah, in that squad for yeah. ages now. Yeah. They dropped Thiago Silva because Bella Silva said something crazy. Mm. Now we don't get too- games. What were you talking about? Poch and questioning Poch and changing. And his wife getting in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, but then she's always on social media. But, but now, look I, I like that though. Yeah, she's letting us know. Yeah, this manager ass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, but, but then look at the players that we're having to deal with. Mm. That's at the back now. Like it, they're not great defenders. And you bro. know, you know what's crazy because you you made a good point as well in terms of you like the wrong Frenchman. A lot of these players that are saying that oh, they haven't had the experience and yet you spent you spent a lot of money yeah. on them. But then Gusto and Palmer are, are examples Some of players of the cheapest that players. they they you know but they have that they that, that that gene that you're speaking about in terms yeah. of like they have that demeanor that like it doesn't matter about their age they show yeah. that 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 sort of matureness on the pitch. That's why I don't hear yeah. this youngster stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't hear this stuff. If you have it, you play. If, you've, if, you've if you're old enough, we play. We don't question Maynou. We don't yeah. question Jude Bellingham. We don't Max. question certain youngsters. We Max. don't question Yamin Lamal. Yeah. These guys haven't had much career experience. They're just bang average. Badia Shile got hyped up first cut part of the season of when he came <laughs> I in. Have him up as He's well, been so flipping yeah. crap recently. Yeah, yeah. Him and Disassi, crap. Mm. Kukurella, we've had Ben Chilwell half fit here and there, and Levi Colwell's played left back. It's what just happened to Levi Colwell? I, I don't know. Maybe he's been out of favour, but then when we was playing him at left back, he was getting fully exposed at left back. But then the superstars that you sign in midfield, 200 plus million pounds. Why are these guys not? Controlling a game against ten that's men. That's who's, 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 who's the question is, bro? Men. How you letting ten man Burnley? Ten man, but they Come were cooking twice. But, but, uh, what? Shocks when they Come were down by. to ten men. They hit the crossbar from yeah. a header. Yeah. They were getting yeah. corners. Jay Rodriguez. Yeah. Jay Rodriguez. There's balls <laughs> over the top coming. Like how long is a guy going to have on the ball to cross a ball in into the box? Have that much time, and then for him to nearly find the guy in the box and the header right. goes on. Not just, just ten men. Well. No manager on the touchline. No manager on the touchline. You got Craig Bellamy managing the thing. Like yeah. so, this is why I'm like that shows there is, that shows that they know we're at Sanford Bridge. I only mean, got ten men, mm. and a man just not here, and we still believe we can these still, guys. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Insane. Hey, that's, insane. that's how Chelsea not respect. No, no, Conor Gallagher's supposed to be the dog, yeah, that can run around Gallag and chase dog. people down. So we've got mm. an extra man Mr. on the pitch. Dog. So they shouldn't even be getting these in these spaces like that with that much time on the ball. So where's this guy that runs around? Where's Moises Caicedo that's supposed to be this engine in midfield? The anchor. Where's Enzo? I can't. I don't know where Enzo is. Magic, it's 100 and million pounds. Magic people man. sing about mm. him. People love him. Oh, Enzo, so great. Chelsea fans on Twitter and Chelsea fans in general, they're all over the place. I think they just they, fancy him. I can't lie. I just think Nicholas they fancy him. Nicholas Jackson. Bro. Oh, what a signing he's been. <laughs> Revelation. His, oh, he was probably the worst player on the pitch. <laughs> I hear that way too many times. I, don't, I wouldn't say mm. the worst. No, he was probably the worst player on the pitch on, on, on Saturday. You think so? The two isolated incidents are when he had chances to get in the box or where he got his chances mm. from. Poor touches. No, mm. no self awareness of where he is on the pitch. He's young though. All this young stuff. <laughs> but this way, shut yeah, up. Yeah, I'm not up. having this young stuff. So he's stuff. winding you up. Yeah, yeah, I know, but all yeah. this you young stuff. Got you got so hard as well. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, you got a 22 bro. year old, a 22 year old, and 21 year old leading your life. I, I don't need like all these signings, bro. 120 million pound Enzo, 105 million pound Enzo, 120 million pound Casa. Bro, I don't need Paulinia. I don't need Paqueta. I don't need these men outperforming my guys, bro. Because this is what I'm trying to say. Are these they're guys better players? No, are they're they're better you. players. Yeah, yeah, so what I'm point, trying to tell... That's, that's what, that's what I'm, I've been that's making to these trying to say that they, even though you spent this much amount of money on these players... Yeah. They're just not Just because you're spending that much doesn't mean yeah, they're, they're good. They're it doesn't mean that they're good. They're and he's trying to say, just because we spent 220 million, don't mean they're good. They're not good. They don't mean they're good. That's what he's trying to say. And I agree with you. And when you spend money on Anthony, when you know that they're just not that good, they're not good. The money they spent on Scott McTominay as well. <laughs> but like that's 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 where my issues lie with the Chelsea squad at the moment, bro. I'll yeah. be honest. There's, there's so many mediocre players. Mudrick's giving him exp- Oh, Mudrick's good. Mudrick's so good. Like I can see the attributes in him, bro. I don't see the consistency enough, and I don't see the qualities in these players. Sometimes I give them a year 
because Drogba weren't great in his first year. But at the same time, I saw elements in their game that I could build hope for. Some of the guys that are Is on the pitch... Is there any hope on any of the players? I don't think there's Obviously, much hope. Obviously, besides Cole Palmer, like Gusto, any Bro, hope? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think there is. Noni Madueke, non-league Madueke, Madueke. <laughs> non-league Madueke. Madueke. Non-league Madueke. He came on yeah. and was dreadful. He's picking up spaces in the <laughs> in the holes. He's a, he's mm. a winger. Yeah, like, I hear it. Non-league Madueke is acid, This is what... But there's so many... I kind of hear it, though. But there's so many mediocre players in this side that you can't apportion 80%, 70%, the majority of blame on Poch. He's had to deal with a squad that's been injured with most of his best players, Fafana, mm. Rhys James, mm. these men, Lavia as an option in anchor in midfield. He played 15 minutes. Is Rhys James Snorlax again? Ben Chilwell. Snorlax. Is he Snorlax no, no, he's, he's sleeping. He's no, sleeping no, but he's not available, bro. Yeah, he's like, sleeping so again. He's sleeping. Yeah. This is the, uh, we don't have these players mm. available that are our better players. So how can you apportion the blame to a manager who had literally three subs on the I weekend? I agree with you. Three subs. Look at our subs bench on the weekend. We had, what, what was his name? Like, some, some some Finnish geezer on the bench, Lorinin or something like that. Yeah. Akiyam Pong. He's not like, finished. He's young, bro. What's no, crazy what's is, you know, no, I'm saying no. You had an Akiyam Pong yeah, guy that was on the bench. 20, you had a finished. twenty year, no, not no, yeah, he's finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Torinen, Torinen, and you had David Washington. You, you have mentioned David Washington. Do you know but who, had, who did Sanchez he have on the bench? That. Do you know what's so funny? He hasn't, Josh, even, mentioned. Uh, he hasn't even mentioned a forty-five million sign in Lavia. He's only played one game. Yeah, yeah that's what, no. But not I just mentioned game. it. I said Lavia. Yeah. I said Lavia has been available. He announced that he's done for the season. Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Blame though. What am I going to do? Go into that. Oh, but all these players that we've signed, Crazy. all these players that we have yeah. that are quality, they're not there. So yeah, how yeah. can you apportion the blame oh, on you came on so much? Bro, I fully agree with you. I mess, <laughs> Who? I, you know what's crazy? <laughs> Alfie. Your son came on, yeah. Oh, Alfie. Oh, yeah, Alfie oh, came yeah. on only because Gusto pulled up with four or yeah, five minutes yeah. left. Mm. Otherwise, we would have had our best team out available. The three subs that came on that was on the bench that were seasoned vets, they came on. Yeah. But other than that, no one else was going to be coming on. So how can you apportion the blame but I resonate so with much. everything you're saying. I, I don't I, get I it. Fully, I fully, I, I, give I resonate with a lot. Of what I give credit man. to what's his name, Cullen in the field. Cullen, the Cullen, first oh, ever finish. goal, first bro. ever Premier League goal, golden goal. assist, bro. Good goal, yeah. First ever Premier League goal. And you know the thing about the thing that was making me die the most. I remember I was watching the game with Chunks, and we were sitting there, and I was just like, I swear Burnley have got ten men. Yeah. The way they were controlling yeah, yeah, the game, forget, I was like, forget, yeah. Are they playing ten against ten? Or like, what? What is, is someone injured? Mm. Because. I didn't understand how they're still dominating the, the ball with 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 one less man. And what killed me the most, they had like you know, obviously, five wingers uh, on that one stage. bro. What made what made me die as well? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Obviously, they had a they had a uh, they had ten men. They had one less man. And when they with the second goal, obviously, Petrovic should have caught it. What's he doing? Oh, but what made me cry more is why did Chelsea? If they know they've got a less man, why did Chelsea play zonal? Why did they do yeah, on the yeah, market? Mm. Bro, I don't, I don't, I don't, and but twice they gave the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the, the, the defender that scored mm. free run at the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamie Rodriguez headers. from the centre spot, free run, ball bounced off the crossbar and said, you know what, mm. let me just volley oh, this. Volley, yeah, I saw that. I yeah, was yeah, like, and that's what I was like, why you, is Desassi sitting off yeah. this guy when, you got when, you've got, when you've got more men on the pitch than them? Yeah. When you got, got disaster, man man. when you got disaster and Baddy Abadders on the pitch, I like that. Baddy Abadders, I like that. It's long. Baddy Abadders and Axel Disaster. Ted DiBiase. What about Petri? Ted DiBiase as well. Petrified in goal. Petrified. Bro, the man tried to catch the ball from ahead of six yards out. What is he thinking? Yeah, it's a real life football manager team. Bro, yeah. it's yeah. dreadful. It's, it's dreadful. But then they, they had the Kosovan keeper in goal. Did all right. Murich. Yeah. James Hafford's mm. on the bench. I don't know if yeah. that's a tactical decision. I, don't know if uh, I think dropped. it's tactical. I think he's yeah. just dropped. I, I he, he's, he played, he's been playing a couple of games, isn't it? Yeah, yeah but the Mur Murich, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, mm. and, and he made a few saves. Raheem Sterling missed another Head of, yeah. easiest chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, yeah. I mean, but you sit on this whole Raheem Sterling thing. You said something on Twitter, I saw. Raheem gets... Uh, and, and, and I know his boy from Brent. No, 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 he, no, he, no, he, he, he gets madly, unf he gets madly unfairly criticised because the people somehow think that Mudrick's going to be a great player. So you've got a lot of the fan base that think, that give Mudrick more time. But then it's because Raheem Sterling has come from other clubs. It's very easy to turn your face on someone like Raheem Sterling, who's not a Chelsea through and through player, yeah. and he's come on and he's on big money, and he's at the club. And sometimes you might question some of his like performances. Making, yeah. No, his, his performances in games. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can question his hunger and desire at certain stages of when we've been. Mm -hmm. Like last year, he kind of th he threw it in quite late into this, like a bit early into the season, like 19, 20 games in. Mm -hmm. Raheem didn't play that great. Yeah, but. I kind of know what I'm getting from Raheem from minute one. If I see the way he's running and the way he's working hard on the pitch, I know what kind of Raheem I'm going to get. It's just about whether he actually works hard or not. I just feel like the fan base 
it's easy to look at him, mm. especially when he was hated before. Well, you got. I you feel got, like I lost. There's a there's a large portion of your fan base. I feel like they every game they're waiting. F- for him to make a mistake, or they yeah. wait, that's like almost they're looking forward to turning on him because there's, people. There's a few players, yeah, yeah, Nicholas yeah, Jackson. Yeah, they look yeah. at him and going, "I really want to get onto Nicholas yeah. Jackson. Let me just wait for his mistake." I feel like Raheem. It's mm. just a thing where, bro, you, like, like Chelsea fans have racially abused Raheem in the past. It's mm. it's, it's not yeah, course, new to no one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's I not see, new yeah. to no one. So it's like when <laughs> players ain't producing the talent and they're not producing for you, they go into turn to the negative things of what they know you for. And so they're, they're going, going to, racially again. But no, it's, it, bro, it <laughs> might be, it, it's not even funny, but yeah, but yeah. it's like, it, it's not the way to go. But I, I just feel like he's massive. You know, like, yeah. Because like like he came lot. on and he created the he chance created the for us yeah. to score. He got yeah. an assist yeah. for Cole Palmer. A little bit of creativity yeah. of where he picked up the play, like a little flick. That's what Raheem can, can actually In them provide. pockets, that's what Raheem shined. Yeah. But yeah, the thing I, is, yeah, you know, the one thing yeah. with Chelsea, it's a lot of it is based on hope, especially with these players. Like you said, you know yeah, how like you, you know how you said, oh, they want Mudrik to have stretcher games and whatever, yeah. regardless if he's playing shit or not. Mm-hmm. They're it is genuinely based on two things. One is hope, and the fact Arsenal were heavily linked to him. There's no other reason for any Chelsea fan to look at Mudrik and go, you know what, this guy is going to be the future of my club. Yeah, but they've made us go from maybe, one maybe that 15 minute cameo against Liverpool at Anfield last season. They've but made us, but they've, got, they've made us go from one. Like the club's been run by everyone questions the Ted like Todd, Ted Lasso Ted Lasso kind of manager and whatever because like he gave us big signings then he tr- he's automatically next season because that never worked he's like right well now we're gonna go to project now you got now you don't have to be a bit patient and now we're gonna work on young players yep. bro but you don't yeah. have the systems in place to get these young players to yeah but to, to like I, said, but shock, I also, just also whilst also compete right now that's what you need but you, need, you don't have that. I, always, I just and, think and, that and, the and young players that you buy they have to be. Just those guys, bro. They gotta be ready made young players. They gotta be ready made young players. It just There's has to be that good. There's young dumb players in, in the rest of the league and world football. I'm not having the excuses of youngsters. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, um, but we've been on Chelsea for a long time. We've got to yeah, move yeah. on. What a club, man. Uh, yeah, what a club. <laughs> All right, moving on to the game that kicked off the weekend. Newcastle versus West Ham at St. James's Park. Um, the game finished 4-3. But it was a very, very back and forth game. 4-3, obviously. Seven goals is always going to be entertaining but this is even more than entertaining than usual because there was seven goals there was a red card there was penalties you know there was a last minute winner there was a lot of things that happened all right newcastle got a win did you guys predict that happening before i mean it's at home yeah, you thought it was you, yeah but did you think it'd be like this no nah. exactly no nah. exactly. i didn't think they'll be down through one as well i want mm. I, yeah. I, I said i yeah. said to stars i want to trade i'm not being even extravagant in the trade i just want to trade go on then what's the trade I want to give them a drink. Take who? And I want Harvey Barnes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want Anthony Gordon. Just give me Harvey Barnes. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. Harvey Barnes is the hero in this game. Like Star said, got to a point where West Ham were 3-1 up after Isak made it 1-0 in the sixth minute due to a penalty. Antonio then made it 1-1. Could have scored in added time of the first half to make it 2-1. Even could have in this incident was hilarious. He tried to ask the new guy's for the boy for his for his stall. Yeah, man. for the stall. He kid said no. Yeah, yeah I don't understand what he that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Kudus actually scored in the fifty fifth minute. Bowen scored in the forty eighth minute, but Kudus goals after Bones. I yep. like. Because of the first half, and then yeah, yeah. <laughs> mad in it. That's actually mental. <laughs> That's actually mental. <laughs> yeah, they're working. Mind blowing that. And then Bowen, yeah, Bowen made it three one in the second half for Harvey Barnes. Then the super sub to come on. Score the equalizing 83rd minute and the winner. What a goal that was, by the way, in the 90th. Well, what's your guys' thoughts uh, on uh, yeah. Calvin Phillips' cameo? Yeah, he's, he's That's another out. talking he's, point. Yeah. He, should, he should be at going Chelsea, you know. He lost his head. No, don't mm. please don't send him here. You know that stuff please. that can happen. He bro. Bro. He's well, a right? Chelsea for signing right nowadays, yeah. You're right. Right. You know, that's why. Yeah, his confidence at all time low at the moment. He saw it, he saw it <laughs> the guy yeah. in the, he saw it, the guy his confidence at all time. I think that's going to be fine. Yeah. He should be able to. He put his middle finger up with the fans. Yeah, he did. Oh, did he? Yeah. Huh? Oh, so I didn't know that. that. Yeah. Rightly so. No? no? So he was getting on the coach after the game. And then the West Ham fans were like taunting him, like useless, blah, blah. And yeah. just puts his middle finger up at him. I hear him though. And he's got what? No, no, no regrets. He's got, he's got, he's got one and a half when he goes back. No home. regrets. No. You know, no regrets. He held that middle finger up for f- three seconds. Yeah, I respect that. like a hot minute. And no, gave yeah. him eye contact. Middle finger, yeah. eye contact. Do you think, do you think, respect, uh, do you think yeah. he was, um, yeah. I'll rate that because you, wait, fans think they can give it, but not get something back. Do you think he was swearing at Rin? Like the way Xhaka. Yeah, yeah, to be fair, yeah. Ren's taking the person ever since Jack uh, 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 cast out the fans. Look, here's the can't put this video, bro. Back 
A real, real dog. Yeah, yeah I, respect. Respect. You know, I respect that. I respect mm-hmm. it. I respect it. Useless. He calls him useless. There goes the middle finger. Yeah, fair play to him. Yeah, man. I like That's that. Mad. I like that as well. I, I like transparency well. for but, football, man. But yeah, he did come on, um, and it wasn't a good cameo, of course, because he came on when they. I'd have laughed at winning. him. You know, I'd have laughed at him. Said, "Hey, you traveled down from East London to come north <laughs> to watch your team lose like this." Idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Idiot. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I knew that was coming. That's too much. Enjoy that's your own home, man. Yeah, that's a bit too much. That's a bit too much. Uh, but yeah, there's a big. Nah, it was. It was. It was, was a, listen, it was a long journey for the West Ham fans. Oh, very long. They traveled. They traveled all that way, right at the top of the country. Newcastle are the mm. most northern team in the Premier League. Right, Guys northern, be Scotland, northernmost team in the Premier League. Um, mm. So you're traveling from London all up to Newcastle. See a performance. They're driving like, as I well. Mean, They're listen, not even I mean, catching the trip. The performance play. wasn't bad. They were up three one away from home. There was good times. The West Ham fans thought they had it. Obviously, they lost it like that. It's always painful to lose like that, especially when you're traveling that far. Mm. And they felt like Calvin Phillips, of course, was the reason for that. And what well, he gave away a penalty, didn't he? As well, didn't have the best of cameos. <laughs> And he's not their player. He's on loan. That's yeah. a whole so shit. Their frustration is to go on. West Ham are cruising. I feel like they also, with all those circumstances, they also should, like, of course, they're allowed to take out the frustrations on the player. Um, I also feel like Calvin Phillips. I was allowed uh, to get his frustration out as well. I for him as well a little yeah. bit, you know? He must be thinking, bro. He must be looking at this club and going, these guys are shit. But in general, but he's like, but obviously, City. there's like a hard, like, there's City like, not getting a minute. So and he's what? like, you know, yeah, he can play. But they got some good players. Kudos can play. And you're just like, afterwards, you're just like, they yeah, got some good plays in there. He's fishing chips. He's yeah. fishing chips. Loads of good plays. I think. Um, I think it's not convincing that they went three one up because I think they had a lot of injuries. To begin, uh, obviously, yeah. yeah I've oh, heard. Oh, that's another thing. Yeah. I've yeah. heard much about James Ward Prowse. You know, yeah. where's he been? Is he injured? Uh, I'm not too sure. I, I think he's been playing. No. Speaking of uh, speaking of injuries, yeah, what about played this yeah. game, bro? Speaking of injuries, uh, has he died? Like, what's going on? He had a good start to the season. I didn't watch I the game, so I'm mm. not too speaking sure. Speaking of speaking really. of injuries, though, that's another thing Newcastle suffered with. They have been suffering with this season with injuries. But um, in the seventieth <laughs> minute, Jamal Lascelles got injured and came off. Yeah, yeah he tore his ACL. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Emil Craft came on for him in the seventieth minute. Emil Craft then got subbed off in the fifty seventh minute due to an injury. That's like me and you and I. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> Livermento uh, came off in the fifty sixth minute uh, due to, I believe, an injury for Almiron. Almiron then came off again. And the sixth, seventh minute himself <laughs> due to another injury. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and then uh, Gordon got himself sent off. And uh, so, how many? So they already. I don't know if those subs were specifically for them, but yeah, Kraft and Amron came on and came back off both uh, injuries, and Lascelles was always injured. Wow. So yeah, both team have been blighted by injuries this season. To be fair, and and it's affected both of their. But I feel like I uh, feel like West Ham are kind of picking back up the form that day because everyone's come back fit. Don't come, yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, I think it. it's that Newcastle. Yeah, they're yeah. done. Great player in there with Paqueta. Yeah, Paqueta. I, mean, I, think, I, think, I mean, he's he can play for any team. Yes, hey, with, yeah. uh, oh, he, he can with, play for any team. Hey, with Newcastle as well. Yeah, depending obviously where they finish in the in the league. Mm. Uh, I don't know where that is. Maybe eighth, ninth. Don't see them anyway. I don't. Where are they now? They're in eighth. They're actually a point behind West Ham, who they just beat, but they got a game in hand over them. Yeah, I uh, okay, so cool. seventh so almost. I, I must still say eight or ninth. Um, I will say eight or ninth. Um, between with, seventh and ninth, yeah. Uh, with their financial fair play as well, two ter- like two like the two ACLs from the centre backs, the main centre backs, one of the co- couple of the main centre backs. Yeah. The addition, like, oh, what are they going to do in the transfer window if they've still got financial fair play like no, problems? It's, it's interesting still. They have to sell, they have to sell one or two big stars, That's and sure. then they got that like that. that loves loves gambling on the on the team, and, yeah, and he's got he got bagged again, and he got bagged again. Nah, he's got bagged again. His name's not Sean. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, definitely not sure. but that's what I'm saying there's going to be a lot of happy West Ham fans that back their team as well because they went 3-1 mm. up so they would have got early payout on Bet365 <laughs> oh, so, so go. now they got early you go payout two one up, you go 2-0 up you get paid you get 3-1 up you get paid there you mm. go so there's a couple they, 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 they were still quite they, choose to, they have to choose to catch no no no, no they, they get paid oh, they get paid. you oh. get a win boom as soon as you go two goals up you get paid really yeah oh. even if you don't choose to even if you don't win the game you oh. might lose the game, you might draw That's the game. Money, you go no. 2-0 up. I might have to get into that then. Hey, it just sounds like, it sounds like <laughs> a promotion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, crazy I'm like, yeah, 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 that's crazy. I'm not crazy. Into that. here it is. We are not hey, sponsored. Me, I'm the you only guy. You're saying well to me, man. I'm not sponsored in the last 10 minutes. They need to be an ambassador. I'm the only guy. You need to be an ambassador, Simon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the last 10 days. In the last 10 days. You put me, you over here. It's you, it's you. He's selling it to me well, though. No, it sounds, it sounds. But that's, but that's why. This is banned for us. So why is yes, it banned? banned for you need to stop promoting um, it to me then. I'll stop promoting. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was but not, yes, that but was not promotion. But yeah. but that's interesting. It was not far from promotion. <laughs> Showtime's locked up, but uh, trying to grab Levi still. They're trying to grab me. He's trying to. Grab me. <laughs> He's working for them right now. Overtime. Almost, almost got yeah. him. You almost got him. No, but um, you see what? Yeah, though. Can they? Can Newcastle accommodate Gordon and Barnes? Because seriously, 
I really, really don't think that Harvey Barnes has been given a good chance to start week in, week out for Newcastle. He was injured for Is that because of the injuries? No, I know he got, no, yeah, he got yeah. injured. Yeah. But he got injured by getting given an opportunity to play in the game. I think it was the, the massive 8 0. Was it the 8 0? Sheffield United. I think it was the Sheffield United game. He got given a chance to play in that game. And I think he got injured in that game. I can't remember. And I don't mm. even know if he would have came on this game because he came on for Almiron, who came off after coming on himself. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't even know if would Harvard have come on in this game if Amron didn't get injured. Amron was a sub himself. You know, you don't usually sub off a sub. Yeah, of and course. he's such a wicked so player. So would Barnes have come on? Yeah, it's crazy. I think he's. That's I think he's such point. a great player. Yeah. I think he's no, got, course, yeah, he yeah. comes yeah. inside. He's Lea's got a great shot in Barnes him. Now, yeah, but Leas yeah. also says Luton Nation, so we don't know where he's with this. Yeah, true. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and we don't. We don't know if he wants Liverpool to win the league as well. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Today he was backtracking his own comments. By the way, guys, he's not backtracking. He just shook. <laughs> I'm just you guys know that. He, he wants Liverpool. He's been telling us he wanted Liverpool to win the league about since January because yep. they play good football. Yep. So just um, get on to him still. But uh, <laughs> talk about some of the players before. Uh, Isak scored two in this game, both penalties. No assist this season. Um, still no assist this yep, season. He's got, <laughs> no, no, I think no, he has got an assist. He's got one assist. Yeah, he's got one assist. You got an assist you know, in this I, game. That's my kind of striker. You though. got an assist in this game. That's my kind of striker, man. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> he's <laughs> just got a gunman. He got his first assist as well. He assisted Harvey Barnes. Is he? Uh, one, he's is got 14 league goals. Obviously, he just scored two penalties. And uh, Anthony Gordon, obviously, winning. I don't know if you want to think of one of those penalties. Um, first no penalty, player yeah. has won more penalties in Premier League this season than Anthony Gordon. He's won three penalties this season. Wow. Very dangerous player. Um, very quick, rapid player. I mean, Chelsea won them for 40 mil a couple of years ago. Did in games. Gone to Newcastle now. 60 mil. Doing well. Yeah. See, if that move, if that move happen, Mujic would have been in Ukraine. No, but then, would he have developed the same he way he's developing now? Would he still been in Newcastle? Would he be uh, the same no, player I think Arsenal would go on a cut price. He might have been you and, and then you wouldn't have had Trossard. You might not be even title contenders. Mm. What was the question, Levan? I was saying, would he be st- would he be the same player that he is right now at Newcastle at Chelsea had he made that move? Nah. Would he have nah, developed Chelsea's in the same way? Right he, he, he ain't called yeah. Palmer, but, um, but um, what's it called? Yeah, so Anthony Gordon obviously won the penalty. Uh, he also did the game himself sent off and it's funny because he was getting, he got man in the match. By Sky Sports, and as obviously you know, in the, uh, as they're announcing that he's the man in the match, that's when he's getting something sent off. Yeah, so that's a funny moment as well. But yeah. he did get man in the match. Oh, BT Sport, by the way, oh, TNT. I mm. was getting um, so much to remember. I was just getting man in the match by TNT. He obviously got himself sent off. But it's another, it's a good win for for Newcastle. Jared Byrne obviously scoring as well. Fun fact about Jared Byrne: he needs one more goal now to become the first player to score twenty plus goals in a single top flight campaign for West Ham across all competitions in the Premier League era. They've never had a player oh, wow. 20 plus goals in a season for in the Premier League. The top and strikes they've had as well. Jared Bone, who they signed from the Championship, is about mm. to do it. What, whole season? Yeah. One goal away. Yeah. One goal away. Shame on Mikel mm. Antonio, man. Yeah, he's their all time Premier League. He's their all right? time scorer. He scored in this game. Good goal as well. Wait, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really this game, you can't say nothing. No, 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 I, I saw it. I saw yeah, it. I respected true. it. I, the Paquette pass. Good finish. Yeah. Paquette's pass was elite still. That guy, man, yeah. he's the truth, man. Unbelievable. He's the truth, man. Unbelievable yeah. player, unbelievable player. But yeah, but Hard right, so was, any, any was the hero. Oh, easy. Um, easy and man. now it looks like he's probably going to play the remainder of the season. Especially um, after a moment like this, after now even more injuries, Hard Barnes will get his chance. Gordon's suspended, so Hard yeah. will definitely play the next mm-hmm. game. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I mean, they ain't got anything to play for, so just have fun. Mm. Literally, just have fun. Literally. And Newcastle's going to be interesting to, to figure out what happens to them next season because they were Champions League team this season. Mm. And uh, now they're not, and they might have made the Europa League. Or even conference this? Newcastle. Right, so, so. Mm-hmm. Eddie Howe. <laughs> I'm still watching. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So the agenda's back now. Back. The agenda's back. back. He was uh, quiet you know, for a you know while, me, you now know it's me. back. It's always there. It's, it's, it's always there. It just has to come out at the right time. <laughs> but it's getting close, that, Eddie. But that was, close, that was an unbelievable entertaining <laughs> game for the neutral. Seven goals. Yeah. Great start to um, Premier League football coming back after the international break. Rightfully so. Especially after England's two dreadful games. Yes, man. It was beautiful to see a 12 kickoff, 12 game on a Saturday. I have seven goals, a red card, penalties, injuries, everything. Mm. Uh, so thank you, Newcastle. Thank you, West Ham. Well, let's move on to another um, um, goal first. <laughs> Sheffield United versus <laughs> Fulham. Why is that one funny? Because, you know, Fulham Football Club, I've, I've insulted that club many a times. Got I don't know why. I like from them. Because, they, 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 I, 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 you know what? It's just Fulham in it. Like, just, they're a respected mid-table team. But this year, they're just they're wishy-washy, you know? Mm. Like... Sometimes they look they're, amazing, they're sometimes hor- they look horror. They're, they're up for it when it's top sides. Yeah. But they stoop to the level of their competition. Yeah. They'll play Sheffield United. Remember, we, we've got a prediction thing where yeah, prediction everyone's league. like, yeah, Fulham are winning. Yeah. yeah. I was like, you know, and what do they do? They, they had to come back against a team that conceded sixes, eights, sevens, whatever at you home, want to call it. At home, comfortably. At home. Well, you don't, and you don't it's so really funny because their last fixture, they beat Tottenham 
with a incredible performance, yep. 3 0 at home. And then they go away all the way to bottom of the league, Sheffield. <laughs> it's crazy stuff. So. Well, I, I mean, yeah, we, I mean, kind of like Chelsea, you know, when you yeah. play, you know, Chelsea play to their standards. You know, they've had good results against the big teams, and maybe not win, but drawn against all the big teams. Mm-hmm. And then that's still at home though. against, yeah, no, of course, but at home against 19th place Burnley, 2 0 up. If Burnley are 19th, oh, Chelsea play like winning, and then they have 10 men. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I, I can't talk. What, what was the game? Uh, what was the game? Um, Chef United against you guys at Stamford Bridge. They, yeah. look, they look like the better side for a bit. Yeah, as well. you're right. You're right. You are right. <laughs> but Sheffield United, yeah. In Ge- can, can we just stop talking about Chelsea? Let's not watch Sheffield United because, because now, let's this talk game, about Sheffield United, United struggle yeah, no, to score have, goals. No, so we have, we have no, to prop them when they score goals. No, no let me tell you why we have to go on Sheffield United. They were they were what 15 minutes left of the game. Yeah, they they were three one up. They scored a fourth. I think yeah, it's to f- make a 4 1. Goal got that. overturned in that 15 minutes. McBurney, yeah. Ends up being 3 3. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's the, that is the story of Sheffield this this is probably This is probably the first time in about four months mm. Sheffield United fans have stayed the 90 minutes. Yeah. It's yeah usually, usually they're gone yeah, by, 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 by the 60th. Yeah, it's true. But maybe it's the signing of Brett and Diaz, isn't it? He's, he's, he's Unbelievable. Been yeah, he's been a good signing. He's been a very good signing. But him and him and Ollie McBurney have seemed to have worked out a good partnership right now because they existed each other. Or was that partnership funny to you? No, 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 you know what made me cry? Uh, you said they, uh, they did a partnership. I look, and I just see bare rent. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. I want their schedule. No, but they've had the back to back draws now. Back to back draws. Fair. That's yeah, good results. They're, they're getting yeah. better. But especially in this game. I remember even the Bournemouth game, they considered the last minute the idiots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Even idiots. what do you call idiots. it? Palace. At Selhurst, I think they, they had the lead against them, innit? Yeah, your, your memories are I think so, I think Your so. memories are ridiculous. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure, well, I don't <laughs> be fake. They fell 2-1 up, obviously, uh, and then they, they end up losing 3-2. Yeah. Don't so be fake back stars, man. Yeah. 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 Palace, what's your yeah. 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 Random it's Monday night, you would have been watching it. It's the front of the game that was at a roundup for this game. Yeah, it's mad that you remember a random game. But yeah, obviously, Ben Burton Diaz, what a signing he's been. He came in in January. He obviously um, became South no, American a couple years ago. Yeah. Uh, came yeah. Chilean a couple years ago and his whole career uh, trajectory changed. Obviously at Blackburn, he was a top, top player. Mm. Then um, he went um, you know the to Villarreal. Villarreal for, for us, it didn't yeah, work out there. Then he got loaned. Hey, you see what the Chile manager said? What? It's funny. Um, he said, yo, if he doesn't learn Spanish, he, I'm not selecting him for Chile. No like, way. Yeah, because yeah. he said, bro, I've, you've been here, you've been, you've played for two years. Yeah. You don't have to speak a word of Spanish. Like, Get your act right. Yeah, he literally That's said that. Crazy. He literally said that. That is crazy. That's yeah. a, come on, man. It's right, true, though. though. It's, it's, it's no catch. Jeremy yeah, Frimpong doesn't speak a lick of Dutch. No, that's different, though, isn't it? Why, Why is it different? different? Because um, it, cause they all speak English. Oh, Jim, yeah. the language true. Bro, it that's done. true. It's, it's, You're it's right. Okay, no, no, that's it's a done. fair point. Fair. That is a fair point. Because in Holland, most people do speak English. Bro, 90% of them speak English. So it's like, yeah, yeah. All of them Bro, all of them. Alexis Vanches. You can speak to well, the only one person now. You can't do that. <laughs> I'm can't just do that. Uh, but yeah, Barry yeah. Diaz, uh, Oli McBurney. Uh, but there is one man I want to talk about. Yes, the number nine, Rodrigo Munez. Well, like this round of applause for me, man. Six yeah, and six, Rodrigo Munez. That guy, uh, and, eight and, and eight or six and six. Uh, well, six he's got, and six, I think. He's got eight goals this season. Uh, it's not eight and eight, but he's just regardless. He's been really, really good so far. Mm. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's like eight and eight actually. Yeah. Mm. I, uh, didn't, I was saying to Sharks, I didn't know. I thought he was a January signing that just popped off. Nah, yeah, nah, do you nah, know what nah, is the, he, I remember this. Self- yeah. I have a good memory of. I remember earlier in the season, mm. he made his debut. Correct me if I'm wrong, Fulham fans. He made his debut because when him and us was in and out of the team, I think he was injured. He made his debut and then he got injured. He got like stretched off or he had to go off regardless. Mm. And he was crying. And it's Muniz guy. And I remember I was like, oh, this, I, 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 I can't tell whatever. Then obviously, second off, he just popped up out of nowhere. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. And this one, especially, obviously, we saw the equalizer, how good it was. It was a bicycle kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this whole game, you knew he was going to score. He, yeah, he yeah. was everywhere. Headless. He was just on everything. He was the hungriest mm, player, hungriest yeah. player. And he's been on a crazy streak. Yeah, he's very and underrated. He's 22. He's, he's very a, underrated, bro. Like, he's on a hot streak right It's now. not even his hot streak. It's the... It's the... It's, it's, what, what's the word? His catalogue of goals. He scores in yeah. so many different ways. That's why I'm, uh, I'm like... I'm like, not gassed. But I'm like, he shocked me so much. Because I thought, yeah, you know what? It, it surprises me a lot. And I feel like, I don't know, also, as of not yet, do you think this might be just his level? Do you think? Who's that? Uh, Muniz. He's 22. Nah, still got time he, to he grow. He reminds me of a, of a very good player. Um, you know who he reminds me of? He's got yeah. a little trace of. Ollie Watkins. Oh, uh, okay. yeah, yeah. I can see that. 
in his, in, in his form of finishing, not his channel yeah, runs. I know what you mean. Yeah, 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 really yeah, have yeah. channel runs in this game. But the quality of finishes. Yeah. Man, yeah. Now he reminds me of a... Of a, of he's a, got, a I can, but I've not seen Ollie Watkins score a bicycle like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't but know. He, he, first. Now he it's reminds because of his age, isn't it? You're expecting him to be able to be <laughs> corner... <laughs> well, that's like, crazy. Well, can I <laughs> cool. <laughs> I have to say, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. Let's get down. Yeah, I was kind of a So yeah, everyone took turns to cut me off. Like, so I was waiting for everyone to. Yeah, yeah, go on. I'm like, yeah. waiting for the player. No, 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 go on. It's cool. No, 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 I want another player. I want another player. No, no, no. It's not. You it. said I, I he reminds me of another player. I'm taking that. No, no, no. I want to know who it is. I feel like I want to know who it is. No, no, because it's it's a famous Newcastle player. I don't even remember. Who? Asprey. Played like no, 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 like like maybe like just nearly twenty years ago. Used to play for Newcastle. Santiago Munes. You know about that. You don't remember that Yeah, he came on. He came. Where, where he, go, he broke it. He broke it the same way. He decided to Madrid. Came, came, came and he signed for to Madrid. Yeah. So he, his next move might be Madrid. Oh, oh yeah, he might go to Calvin Madrid. Harris. The Calvin, Calvin Harris. Harris. Yeah, that's that's the uh, that's uh, Anthony Gordon. Calvin Harris. <laughs> Calvin. <laughs> Yeah, Gavin Harris, I said, that's actually Calvin. 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 Oh, the, the singer, I'm thinking about yeah. the singer. <laughs> <laughs> musician. DJ. The, 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 the DJ, DJ. musician. He's a musician still. Yeah, singer, the musician, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He does ride with him. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. good, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. Uh, um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, the game finished 3 3. It was an entertaining game. Uh, Chef United back went back. from last to last. Oh, but they now have a game in hand over Burnley, and obviously yeah, they well, have, have 10 games they're three points behind. Yeah, they might as well start pieces now. Oh, for sure, for sure. No, well, like, no, I, you know how bad Derby's got to be? They've surpassed them in points. That's the same. Sheffield Derby. Derby, Derby, Derby was horrible. Derby was there for vibes. Uh, they were there for vibes. When you have Robbie Savage, for, uh, like an old Robbie Savage as, as your, your captain, leader, yeah. the leader, yeah, you, you Derby done was tragic, man. In a bad place, Sheffield tonight, they are obviously going down, but <laughs> you might as well have some uh, good good days, man, good away days. But um, there was a lot of um, woodwork. A hit from Fulham in the Premier League this season. They've hit the woodwork a lot. Uh, only Liverpool and Tottenham have hit the woodwork more than Fulham this season in the Premier League. And no mm. Fulham players hit the woodwork more than obviously Rodrigo Muniz this season. So he's just, you know, <laughs> he's, he's active. It. He's just he's trying, to break it. He's trying to score. He's man. That's what I said. He's desperate to score. I can see in the game. Licking he's the the desperate. Yeah, he is, huh? Licking the wood. He's licking the wood. Crazy. Oh, did yeah, he? He's licking it. Crazy. Um, but yeah, but I, can Fulham, see, I can see him go Chelsea. But Fulham are Muniz, I can see him go Chelsea. Fair, I can see him go Chelsea. Fair. But Fulham see, need see, to see, fix their. Well, like, like you're, you're too, I know what you're doing, stars. You know you got. I in know the what you're doing. Like. It happens. But well, Fulham, like, need, to, yeah. Fulham need to fix their way form because they're pretty good at home, but they've only yeah, won they one. Did they beat Man United away? Away? What do you mean? Yeah, Fulham. They, they beat. They beat Old Trafford. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Because he said they got fixed their way form. Yeah. But that's it. That's it. They've only won. We beat them. We beat them away as well. Fulham only won one. Which you couldn't do. Fulham yeah, one which Arsenal couldn't do. Yeah, Fulham one one. I forgot about that. Fulham yeah, one 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 of their past fourteen Premier League away yeah. matches. So that's obviously. Is it okay? Traffic. Did you beat them at uh, the ground this season? No, I'm saying away matches. We did for them. <laughs> we did just about barely, yeah. barely. Uh, let's we get did. some analysis from Thomas, the Fulham fan. Says great turnaround, but overall a very poor performance. Felt like the players thought they could just walk in and win. Sheffield United was so I blame, poor. Well, I don't blame them. And <laughs> our goals were completely down to our complacency. And goals are pretty down to our capacity. Munez is incredible, unbelievable bicycle kick. I think we may be watching Brazil's future number nine. See, I like that. Especially given that there is that's that's a massive hole in in, in the squad. Bro, Chelsea you know? missed out. And uh, uh, and and obviously uh, you know it's it's thankless uh, <laughs> for. <laughs> <laughs> thankless again. Yeah. The position is very thankless. <laughs> Don't get angry if that move happens. Thankless. There we go. All right, moving on. You know, we've avoided it for so long now. You managed to avoid it for so long. Oh. We are deep into the avoided podcast. It. I didn't, I'm avoiding nothing. <laughs> we are deep into the podcast. Nice! I'm not avoiding nothing. We just got analysis from Thomas Frank. <laughs> not Tom, Thomas Frank. But now we want to hear from this Thomas Frank. I mm. mean, I'm assuming his, name, his surname is Frank. He's a full and fine. His name was Thomas. But I want to hear from Thomas Frank. Ask he was Frank. He was quite Frank. He was quite Frank. Yeah, this Thomas was Frank with his analysis. Did you ask Frank? Uh, oh, Frank. I like that one. Talk uh, to Frank. I like that yeah. one. I like that one. But Thomas Frank almost masterclassed yeah. a win against Man United. Mm. This is, uh, you know, Brentford had I think you got 34 the touches. Huh? I think it, it, uh, Ayrton had nearly masterclassed the smash and grab. He did definitely. We'll talk about it in a second. Yeah, it was true. But Brentford <laughs> had 34 <laughs> touches in the opposition half against Man mm. United. How many? 34 touches in the opposition half against, uh, for in, in the first half, in the opposition <laughs> box, in the first half. 34 in the first half? In the box, opposition yeah. box. In the first half, the most they've managed in the opening four five minutes of single Premier League campaign uh, game this season, 
Uh, there was another stat which was like the most in like how many years, um, which was ridiculous. I mean, Lias was there. He's there with cams, culture cams, and they were sat with the Brentford fans. That's yeah. how much. Yeah, yeah. that's very fitting of them because they, they've been supporting every team other than Man United this season, so it kind of makes sense for <laughs> them to yeah. sit in their way and yeah. makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, they sat, they yeah. sat in the home end yeah. and they watched that uh, uh, atrocity. What they, ce- what they celebrate with Ayah scored? Mm? I, I wouldn't be surprised. Lia said, what a game, uh, uh, what a good game, game. of football this is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, Lia's depressed, man. Football's really the winner, really. Lia said, Lia said, Lia said, depressed, man. Man, depressed. I went to the G-Tech um, Community Stadium, man. But, man. but uh, nevertheless, the game was no no for the whole 90 minutes. And then, like Star Player just said, Eric Ten Hag almost masterclass a smash and grab through the boy right behind Star Player. Not Mason this his Mount, yeah, his uncle. Yes, Mason Mount. What it's a finish! Uncle. Great finish his from uncle. him. Yep, great. I got some breaking news as well regarding Mason Mount. Go on. What's the breaking news? On Thursday, when that game happens at Stamford Bridge, if Mason Mount scores, <gasps> the boy Sean is gonna celebrate. I, I, he, said, I he said he was stripped naked. I don't know. I don't know about that. I didn't hear that. He said that. He said that's a sight you'd watch. That's crazy. Yeah, you got a weird fetish, and, 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 and he's being serious. So you got to watch it. He's oh, yeah, for sure. Big white guy. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Sure. Um, so no, yeah, Mason Mount, Mason Mount in the ninety-sixth minute, and then while I was still still <laughs> celebrating in the corner, yeah, I uh, made it one-one. <laughs> <laughs> what was your what, what was your like reaction? Like how how was you feeling? Obviously, when Mount um, scored, you're thinking no, 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 because I'll be honest with you, yeah. When Mount scored, I said, <laughs> we are the nastiest piece of work. Dirty team. Stank, stank I mess. That is the scummiest. <laughs> We're the scummiest of the scummiest of the scum you scum. Felt dirty. I felt nasty. I yeah. said, this is this is actually nasty work. <laughs> we were horrible the whole game. We had to take all three points. I said, I thought, I thought it was devastating for Brentford. Yeah. That, happened said, f- that happened the home game as well, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. When McTominay scored last minute, when oh, they yes, 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 it happened in the whole game <laughs> last second. Actually, scored two in that in, in injury time as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, nah, but it was like I said, yeah. When they scored, I, I genuinely felt upset. It's the first time this season where I genuinely felt upset for the other team. I said, we just did the nastiest piece of work ever. You did all that work and we won and took three points. So it was kind of when they scored, I wasn't really like I was kind of like, oh come on, man. But it wasn't like I wasn't like vexed. I wasn't vexed about it, but I was like, we didn't deserve to get all three points. Leicester got left in the dust. For the mm. Yeah, he did. Crazy. Mount, Mount kept them on side as well. It was crazy as well. Mount kept, <laughs> was it Mount? Yeah, Mount kept them on side. Oh, it's one of the Saka, bro. It's one of the Saka. Maybe look, I don't they, they, look, they look similar. Yeah, they're 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 how you got that skin complexion? Maybe crazy. Maybe maybe one's got skin fade, one's got dreads. Maybe my mind's got. What's it, Mount? I thought it was Mount that kept him. What's it? What's he saying? One's got skin fade, one's got dreads. Jesse, metal. Right. Yeah, one of so, so what, what, where one of them that anyway kept them on side, and then <laughs> it was one yeah. Masaki was like seventeen yards behind the line. And, and, and the biggest thing, and he's black. <laughs> he's black as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I said Was he left that one Masaki? Yeah. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. But anyway, why does he come play to left back? Huh? Why is he suddenly left? You can't. You can't. You can't put Dalo uh, right back. But Dalo can play left back. Dalo can play. Dalo at where he is playing at his best is right back. Yeah. No, but anyways, in terms of the game itself, it's about the game. We didn't, we didn't deserve to get three points, so it was <laughs> kind of fitting. Did you deserve yeah. the draw? Um, Lindelof got <laughs> toasted, man. My thing is, yeah. <laughs> Lindelof. My, my thing is, Lindelof. it's always been my United for us to not play well and somehow still get results. That's always been the Manchester United way in some ways. You like that? Like, uh, I don't necessarily like it, <laughs> but I, I'm just, just tired of I'm just, I'm a, I'm not. I mean, this season I've been more accustomed to it often than not because we had there's a lot of games where more it. often than not we haven't played well, but we somehow still managed to pull results out. Mm-hmm. Aston Villa being an example away from home, Luton away from home. Uh, well, there's a lot of performances this season where we didn't deserve to to get the three points and we mm-hmm. still managed it. But that's always been my United. Like our thing is always that with Manchester United, you have to always find a way, regardless of whether you're playing well or not. You need to find a way to get the three points and. I'm just tired of seeing the same points, the same, rege- you know what I mean? The same points and the Anthony's same talking points. Yeah. Yeah. We can, so we your pain, can. Bro. I feel your pain. About, so huh? your pain, bro. I feel about your pain, no bro. style of play this, no style of play that. We can see too many shots. <laughs> this, it's the same conversation over again. Uh, with can, ten you praise, can you praise, can you praise, bro? Andrew Onana, please. Oh, we'll, in we'll January, no, 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 actually, no, 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 no,
<laughs> Your high top brother. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I love the safe trim. His that's one's like crazy. this way. My one's forward. This one, his one's like that way. Vertical. His one's going vertical. Mine's going horizontal. <laughs> yeah, it's not the same. It's not the same, brother. And he's younger than you as well. Huh? He's younger than you as well. He's younger than me. Yeah, he's 27. Crazy. Oh, shit. <laughs> he's a little bro, bro. Why does he look like he's got like three wives or something? <laughs> No, but I wanted to show you guys something. Still tired, yeah. but you keep Don't be doing abs, boost, gets pop, please. No, no, I'm ah, not Come on, tell us, tell us. It's your nah, team, it's, it's your not, segment. Look. My thing is this with you now. Yeah, I'm going to just show. It's not, it's not no, the no, no, I'm just going to, I'm just going to show you something, yeah? No, 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 look, I'm just going to, no, this is just, nice. That's this is just, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the last eight games, my United, Premier League games, my United, yeah? And I'm just going to read it out, the stats. Brentford, we conceded 31 shots on the weekend. Everton. Okay, relegation battling Everton. We conceded twenty three shots. <laughs> Man City, we conceded twenty seven shots. That's fair. That's I hear that one. Okay, that one I can hear it. Yeah, Man City, I ex- expected. Forest, sixteen shots. <laughs> Fulham, seventeen shots. That's like Fulham at home as well. Yeah, f- uh, uh, Fulham at home. It's Luton, crazy. yeah, Luton I'm Town, twenty two shots. That's Luton at home, right? Yeah, yeah. that's that at their ground. This is a Brentford's record before going to United. This is this is that their ground, yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. that? Crazy. This is Brentford's record before playing against United. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. I'm, I'm, fully, I'm fully aware of that. I'm fully aware of that. Villa. Crazy. And they had the most shots against Listen, them. Villa, 22 shots. Hey, and that's a Newport goal. West Ham, game. even right. the game that we beat West Ham comfortably, apparently, obviously, 22 shots they had at a goal. <laughs> so you're looking at the amount of shots that we concede every single game. Yeah? And this has been... A recurring this, has been a, this has been a recurring theme, not from... <laughs> From now, <laughs> from the start of the season, opening game of the season where we conceded 23 shots against Wolves, Wolves yeah. at, on, at Old Trafford. And, and so, and smash and grab as well. Why are people acting like surprised every single week? Because you're that's, you know, but it's insanity though. Because you, know, you have to start. Bro, I look at this team. This is why I was saying I resonate. Like no, no, this is why I say I resonate with Sean <laughs> or what I was saying prior, prior earlier, yeah? This season, there's been injuries. <laughs> yeah, again, with what you said, there's been. Injuries were to the team. We, this is the first time in a year, literally this time last year, is when the injury started. So this is the first time in almost a year where we've had close to, not even a full squad yet, close to a full squad. This is the first time in a year. Yeah, you got obviously the on-field issues. You then have the ownership issues. You then have this distraction of players doing things off the field. There's so much factors going into our season. Yeah, yet. People are still expecting Ten Hag to pull off miracles. The same with the, the expectations with with, yeah. with, with Posh. Posh. People expect these guys to work miracles. They can only do with what they got. They can only use the tools that they have at hand. You're looking at our team. How many players can you generally say are in this team that are good enough to play for Manchester United? Eight. How many can you honestly say? I'm just joking. I just threw around. No, but I'm saying honestly, how many of them can you say? What, 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 what is good enough to play my night? What is that? In, I would say about four. six players. Seven. I don't know what's standard no? my night we're talking about. In 2024. What is United? Top four? I'd say about so six. Or seven. My, my, United, my United. United, United man, what should you be like? Man, question. Manchester United being the biggest <laughs> club. Probably, you okay, biggest the biggest club, club on the planet, yeah, should be zero challenging then. for titles. And should zero. be challenging. Huh? There's no one here that should be challenging for titles. What do you mean? As in, in terms of the if actual squad? If you're saying you should be challenged for titles, you say, who's, who's fit to wear the... Wear the, wear the badge? Who's fit enough no to wear the badge? To That's challenge the title? No, no, no. I, I, Maybe Bruno Fernandes. I, I would, I'm not going to argue with that because, again, it's subjective, but I, I wouldn't argue the, the way we've been playing this season. Yeah, I wouldn't argue with that. But if you say, okay, a top four team, maybe yeah. two or three. Yeah. But I'm not going to dispute. I'm not going to. I'm saying, right, I'm not going to. I'm saying, even if you said zero, I'm not going to. Right now, I'm not going to dispute it because my point is that the fact that we don't have a lot of good players in that squad, yeah. When we got Ten Hag in, and this is me going back to the whole Ten Hag thing, yeah. If I said to, if I said before Ten Hag got appointed that first season we're going to get top, first season we're going to get top four and a trophy. Yeah. Second season. We might be a bit underwhelming, but we might be in for potentially another cup and potentially you could still finish in a Champions League place. If I said that situation to um, Manchester United fans when we had Ragnik and we was going into into the Ten Hag era, yeah, a lot of people would have snapped at it straight away. No, nah, they because of how bad because of how bad we were at that point. People were saying two, three years ago, we need to give Ten Hag his time. Right. Give so. It, right. So my problem is now, for example, ten, we go back, I always, and uh, people will say, oh yeah, but it's not the same. It is the same. I could always go back to Arteta and his time at Arsenal. In that first, no, hold on. Is Let, a reference point, no, no, listen, because it, it is a reference point. Because for me, Arteta, there was a time and a period when he was on that losing streak, two years into his, 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 his reign at Arsenal, and people were calling him tactically inept. Also, fans, and this is all documented on channels. You could see, you could see in the documentary, everything. 
they were calling him tactically inept. They said he this didn't know his, he didn't he, he didn't know his no but hold on he so didn't he, he didn't know yeah because you were you were the only one defending him and all the other Arsenal fans on the pod were saying they wanted he was saying Arteta out Elias was saying Arteta I, out. Arteta I don't know what Hasib's stance was on that but you I were the Arteta only Arteta one Arteta. you looked crazy yeah, at that time you looked like the crazy one and it's, it's and, and, and I'm I'm now like I feel like I look like the crazy one for face, so for giving context to the situation people think people just want change. People are demanding change. People There's just difference in what, what yeah, was yeah, doing exactly what what was okay, exactly but no, but, no, but no, it's your recruitment no, was a lot no, better than, than what their recruitment has been. been. No, been, no, but no, been no, no, no. This is this is why I say well, is no, but so look, no, I can't stop talking about other. Oh, no. we should have beat Arsenal. We should have. Yeah, but, yeah, no okay, but you're criticizing. No, no, but you're, you're, you're criticized. But Arte, was Arteta not saying some wild stuff in his press conference yeah, as well? Real he, he, see, it's real one there, but it, it's crazy. What, complaining here. that. No, uh, hold, the, hold, no, 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 no. Why are you no. talking about another game that happened time ago? What's your game? Uh, what's it called? The Arsenal game. He's still talking about it now. Ten Hag. What? What Arsenal game? Because he's right though. We, it, the, the he not, no, but he's he no, but he's giving right, cool. Newcastle no, got listen, robbed. No, but he's West giving Ham. no. He's giving. He's not saying necessarily game. because he's saying he's giving context. He's saying the fine margins. Havertz, he was Aston mentioning Villa. there's fine margins in, in games this season that could have Liverpool swayed literally our, got uh, the biggest robbery this season. He's not, but he's talking Top in context. Talk Mike, but he's just mentioning it. Is okay. Again, we're criticizing him for things that has nothing to do with what's happening on the pitch. That, well, that's the problem, though. Yeah, it's as a manager's job, and the reason why I talk about it, and there is maybe a smaller percentage of Arsenal fans. Is not just what's on the pitch. Yeah. It's a whole package as a manager. The reason fans get behind managers, the reason but why you was a minority. Managers, is my point. I understand that. You was a minority at the time. Well, no, no, hold on. No, your no, example no, still no, doesn't no, no, doesn't no, match. With it does what match because Arteta. you know why. I'm, this is my point. Because Arteta, the Arteta had a style of play. Back then, even though it see. wasn't working, he was lose. You was on a losing streak. Whether yeah, you had a style of play, that. you was on like a crazy losing streak. We was. No, we never yeah. on a crazy losing streak. Oh my god, you want me to? It was the first three games had of the season. Like, no, 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 there was a time. Remember? There was a time so in November. There's a Chelsea. Chelsea. We you beat United one You had like an eight game. And yeah, and then you had like an eight game losing streak. What are you talking about? You had like eight. That's what I'm saying to you. So there was a time period where people were calling for his head, saying we need to get rid of this guy. How can we go on an eight losing streak? And you have to remember as well in that two first couple, two three years. At Arsenal, how many mistakes did he make in the transfer market? He signed Willian, gave him a ridiculous amount of wages from Chelsea. I okay. finished Willian. He signed David Luiz. He signed Pablo David Mari. Luiz is good for us. Though. Hold on, he signed Pablo Mari. He signed Nuno Tavares. He signed Sambi Lokonga. All these signings, but yeah, but before he got signings. no, 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 no listen, what, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, making <laughs> it, I'm not making a Manchester United Arsenal thing. I'm trying to show yeah, yeah. that what he, yeah, what, what Arteta went through is similar to what. But the uh, only reason to bring through. this in is you're seeing yeah. similar signs. Where's the similar science? It's not you? similar science. So why okay. is he bringing up no, because case the, study? No, because, okay, you're talking about on the pitch, you're saying that but, but there's not real much uh, style. But what I'm trying to say, the point I'm trying to make, yes, you could criticise Ten Hag for maybe not being able to style a play, but let's understand why there's no style of play. Well, let's, what's two the reason in. for not starting style of play, huh? Two years in. Of course, two years in. Two years in, what were you guys doing? What was Arteta but doing at Arsenal two years in? But that's the difference between Arteta did he and Arteta. I'm saying, why Arteta can't Arteta didn't have his personnel? No, no, but hold on. He had Arteta Arteta had Leno in no. goal that he knew. He Listen, needs a goal playing goalkeeper. Arteta, he didn't get that. Arteta came in, won an FA Cup. Yeah, he got his little buzz. He had a little honeymoon period. got his FA Cup. Then the next 18 months, he went through hell. He yeah. went through hell that next 18 months. He made mistakes in that 18 months. But guess what the difference was? The board... The board at Arsenal still trusted him. I said, you know what? We know you made mistakes, but we're going to give you time to rectify those mistakes. Uh, Ten Hag, when we got him in, we said as a fan base that this thing, this this transition or this makeover, whatever, needs time. It needs two, three years. Hence why we gave him a three-year contract, yeah? First season was decent. He oh he overachieved. So he's got one more year hold left. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's got one more year yeah, left. Hold on, yeah, of course he's got one more year okay, left. Cool. For me, he's got one more year left. He First year, he overachieved. Second in his second season, yes, it's been underwhelming. Yes, there's things that hasn't gone his way. There's things that he's done really badly, and then things that he deserves to be criticized. Two years in, you want to see progression. Yes, maybe this year we've gone backwards a little bit, but listen, there's I, also context I, no, to why look, he's I'm gone backwards. At, listen, yeah. you guys are having a very good 2024, you know. Yeah, I know we are. Two games. I know we are, but you've the only way lost you, two you, games you in year, <laughs> in this whole year so yeah. far, and and every, you've had straight wins. You've yeah. drawn against. I know drawn against Spurs at home. And then now I've drawn against Brentford. Yeah. And everything else straight wins. I know. And everyone sees that your results are good. Yeah. But there's more to it. It's painful. 
It's painful, Surely. but this is my point. We you know this season, is? no, but look, Sharky. this is good. No, this is, is, no but it's Sharky. It's a lot of this. It's masked. Yes, yeah, I'm saying. Performance it is masked, masked with dust. But with wait, dust. no, but my yeah. thing is this. Which is the, which no, is the I don't. Thing. Look, so when I it lose, don't, listen, I don't. Right for yourself, listen, I'll I draw. Don't, no, but listen, I don't disagree with that. This is different. I don't disagree that it's being masked, but I'm also trying. What I'm to the point I'm trying to make is, it's being masked, but that needs to be credited because. The context behind why we're playing so poorly, people don't want to talk about it. People don't want to talk about he's just got his full squad back. People don't want to talk about the fact that he's had to deal with so much rubbish. How many managers do you generally believe would have even been able to pull off the things that Ten Hag has managed to pull off with with the circumstances that he's been proving? Playing Lindelof, not many. Bro, having to play uh, 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 full, uh, full midfielders and full back, full backs in different positions, centre, different centre back partnerships every single game, different mm. midfield combinations every single game. You've got a, a striker being injured coming in and out. You've got wingers coming in and out the team. You've got so much to it, but yet he's pulling that results. Yeah, he's got us into an FA Cup semi final. Yeah, we still got we still got a shout for. You got him now. still got a shout to think, but yet no people people, people want to wait till head. summer. People just want change for the sake of change. Yeah, people don't, it, whether it's good or bad, people just want change. Right. Because they assume that change is going to mean and, that. And, and what if that change is Gareth Southgate? Oh, oh, if there's Southgate, just brother, <laughs> just, the just, just. Are you not going to ride the just, soul for Southgate? Li- uh, what's it? Liquidate. Liquidate, Liquidate yeah. the whole club. Just throw the whole club. Start you, again. You, you hate Southgate that much that you wouldn't want him anywhere close to your club? Go, go back to being Newton Heath again. Yeah, well, we start as new team. Yeah, we start. We start um, as new team. Start as I mean, I mean, I mean. Your next two games mm. this this week, you have both Chelsea and Liverpool. Yeah, coming that's good up. games. Yeah, you go to Stamford Bridge and then you're yeah. facing Liverpool at yeah. Old Trafford. Last time you faced them, mm-hmm. literally the other week, where yeah. you beat them in FA Cup. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. I'm looking forward uh, to that. One. How confident you are in that week? Because you literally, how are you in that week? Because you have Thursday, I think Thursday and Sunday games. Call me crazy. Probably going to do watch wrong for both guys. So yeah. come on, come call through. Me crazy. I think we can get a result in both games. Six points in the Liban stars are saying. I'll say four points. I'd love, I'd love three against Liverpool. I don't care. We do with Chelsea. I'd love to get four points. Chelsea, 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 Chelsea United has a, it's a, a even, draw written over. It's a mid off anyway. It's a mid off anyway. Chelsea, 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 Chelsea Stafford like, Bridge as well. Yeah. They get results against the top sides. Yeah. So. And yeah. then they lose to the bottom, to the lower league sides. That's, That's what Chelsea. We do. Yeah. Uh, let's hear from um, a United fan. We've got Keenan Lowe. No, 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 I'm a Brentford fan. My bad. Which is good because we were talking about United the whole time. Brentford fan, Keenan Lowe. If you'd asked me before the match whether I would take a point against United, I probably would. After the match, I can't help but feel like the Bees deserved more from that match. They dominated the night throughout. In the end, they were finally able to find a goal late in stoppage time to salvage a point after conceding what appeared to be a heartbreaking United winner. If Brentford can create like this and maintain this energy for the rest of the season, they should manage to stay up. This is what we're talking about, Brentford now. Managed, they've been in a bad state, mm. you know, in this year. They've been so they've been straight losses. Mm. Um the I addition of, why, I don't know, the addition of Mbwemo and his creativity managed to catch the defence off balance multiple times. And even before and even before that, Brentford had several opportunities that get finished off on another day. United were very lucky to draw today. Obviously, Mbwemo came on and changed the game. Mm. He hit the crossbar himself. He found Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony scored, got disallowed for offside. You know, they had a lot of chances. Mm. Brentford's fixtures get more winnable in the coming weeks and safety is the number one priority. Every point counts this late in the season and Brentford have a run coming up where they can distance themselves from the bottom three. With key members rumoured to leave in the summer, it is critical for the Bees to stay up this season and maximise outgoing players' value as they rebuild the squad. Yeah, so Brentford look like they're going to be getting into like a little bit of a rebuild. Mm-hmm. Um, they obviously haven't been in a good form at all this year. They've been missing centre-half wing-backs. Yeah, I saw yeah. the point. Tony being out Rico for that Henry, Rico, Rico Henry, Henry loads of them. Pinnock, uh, we played them. Hickey play like that. Yeah, and Wemmer just came back. Yeah, and yeah. And We played them with like literally four guys out of their back five. Yeah, exactly. And mm. listen, they won't go down. They're five points ahead of. Life, yeah. They're five points ahead of Luton, who are obviously just at the top of the drop zone. Yeah. And on top of that, like they've I got some favourable go fixtures. <laughs> bro, bro, if Luton, got, Everton, and Forest got deducted points, and if they yeah. lose, still go down. That, they deserve to go down, bro. That's what it is. Mm. Uh, but Forest and and Luton are joint points, so that's gonna be an interesting race. Mm. Yeah, joint points. It's gonna be six pointers. Are they playing against each other the rest of the remainder of the season? Forest and Luton. No, nah, they won't. But that whole game would have been huge. Mm. All right. But can Luton I just say on. one more point? Go on. I just want to say, yeah. Like the point I'm just trying to make is that we're we're not playing good football. That's it, yeah. And we're gonna we're not gonna and, and when they go and it's not gonna change from now to end the season. But what we are doing still I think Mason even, turns it around. Even Mason will definitely help. I think Mason <laughs> no, Mason will definitely No 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 he won't have turn it around completely, but he will improve it. He will give us 100%. another option, another outlet. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. I'm, what I'm trying to say is we've been playing like this the whole season. Yeah. Mm. Yet we're still got something to play for. Yeah, we're this this calendar year we've had only two L's. Yeah. yeah, 
we're not playing great, but we're getting results. We still have uh, the cup to play for. We still have Champions League to play for. Mm. Rather than moaning every single week, we're just saying the same points about style of play and things. Get behind the team, okay? Get by behind the team. Tell them. You know what I'm saying? Let's get Tell behind the nice team, ones. okay? And, and see it. and and basically ride it because <laughs> at the end of the day, no, hold on, no, I'm I'm being serious. Yeah. Ride it because <laughs> as a when, uh, no, uh, you, I you know why I say ride it? No, ride you know why? It. You know what I say right, right? Because yeah, I don't want to see those same people like they did against after when Ahmed Diallo scored and now they're screaming, oh, I love this club, I love Manchester United, you got I love this club. You can't name names though, you can't name names. You can't, you're smiling, be, but no, you gotta name names. No, but I don't wanna name names because they're gonna you get gotta. upset. They're gonna so get upset they, and they're gonna cry about it. What does it they rhyme know with? They know who they are. What does it rhyme with? He ass, that's what you're right, he ass. And you can't, Lucas Gold, don't say that. Anthony, McTominay, they There you go. No, but this is my thing, like, you can't, be criticizing, complaining, chatting what, what shit. About no, no, check, no, chatting <laughs> shit, chatting <laughs> shit, chatting <laughs> shit, chatting shit. We get a big result, and now you want to act like you love the club, and you can't do that. Stay on side. Stay side. on side. Stay on that side. Stay on that side. Either you're either with stay it. Stay on that either, side. Or either you ride through the, you. either you ride through this bullshit, or you ride through this storm. Yeah? yeah. Whether we get results or not, you ride through it. Or, or you just stay on that side. If you don't f the team, you don't f the team. Just stay on that side. Yeah. Would you? Stay would you? Would you be upset? Yeah. Say, for example, you rid it. Yeah. Enjoyed it. <laughs> One, whatever, Crazy, whatever, whatever yeah. happened, yeah? yeah. Goes to the summer, Ineos obviously come in. And yada, they say, yada. no, no time. Ericsson Hug, I'm sorry, obviously, because it's a new board. That's fine. I want my own manager in. That's fine. fine. Are you I'm more okay upset that he's no, gone? No, or no, you no, just no. like, that's fine. He's done what you need if they, to do. If they, if they feel like, okay, like you've done what you need to do, we want to bring our own people in, we want to bring our own coach in. Okay. That's fine. Do that. That's absolutely fine. But I'm saying from now to the end of the season, yeah, we still have things to play for. Mm -hmm. Get behind the team. Stop complaining about the same points that's been the same issues that has been the same issues since the start of the season. There's no point in keep going over it. Get behind the team, and hopefully we can still start with something out of the season. Right. What, what I don't like is people just grilling the use because what I've started to notice is grilling Manchester United. Yeah, especially for my United fans, gets a lot of engagement, and people get upset with me because I don't and I don't try to get onto my team. Just for people's entertainment or for people's enjoyment or people's laughter. Because that's, I, I can't lie to you. If I say, if I, what I've noticed, if I say Manchester United shit, yeah, I'll get way more interaction, way more likes, way more releases, whatever you want, way more engagement by cussing out my United than I would do for backing my team. So what I've started to notice, I'm not saying this is Lias, by the way. I'm not saying, I think Lias generally says what he generally feels. And I think like, yeah, he he, like the but there's a lot of my United fans now have clocked that. If I just get out of my team, I'm, I'm gonna get more engagement that sure. way, and so every week from minute one, they're just attacking players, attacking the team, attacking the manager because they know they can get engagement. It, it goes back to Chelsea. That. It goes I'll, back to yeah. Chelsea because what's the one thing they said well, we spoke about? P fans are waiting for the players and the managers to make a mistake so that they can get onto them straight. Yeah, and that's exactly what they're doing. It's like they, they, but from minute one, they're already ready to attack the team, and I feel like it's not genuine. I feel a lot of it's not genuine. I think it's just for engagement purposes. And I will never do that. I will never try to put my, throw my team on the bus or try to like get out my team or get out my players just for the sake of engagement. I'm well, never I feel, doing I feel that. like your fan base, yeah. majority of them want to hammer the Man United. Yeah. That want to they want to see Man United yeah, fans uh, hammer their it's, own it's, Yeah, it's mad. Yeah. But I don't feel like that's on our, like you might have selected a few players, but with Chelsea, it's more like, it's, they're more positive. Yeah. You lot are way more negative. 100%. And yeah. I'll I'm, I'm never do that. I will never do that. Mm. All right. But we'll stay doing that for a while. Let's move on now. I've got a few games left to talk about. Another big side. Uh, Tottenham hosted Luton the other day. Big side? Yeah. Big side? If you're a big side, so are they, bro. They're like eight Big side? Ahead. They're eight points ahead of you. Uh, well, don't, let's not do that. We have to let's not let's not do that. Let's not do that. Recalibrate the let's top six. That. Is it going to yeah. be a two, top four? Let's then? not do that, man. I'm just saying. I'm happy to not put them there. <laughs> Anyways, first hosted Luton. Uh, Paul Luton, man. We're talking about if they can stay up or not. They're just the third side now in Premier League history to lose three successive games in which they have led at half time. After Villa and Sunderland have done in the past, which was four a run of four. Luton, the last three games, are winning at half time and lost the game. All three of them, you know. Pretty unfortunate. Teams have come back against them a lot now recently, but they are scoring first. They are scoring goals. Um, no oh, side has <laughs> no side. It's you. No oh, side no. has you're benefited. Like you're confused. Yeah. No, I'm just reading. I'm just. Yeah. Re I'm trying to read that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no side has benefited um, from more on goals in Premier League season than Tottenham. Yeah. Four, and uh, this is Luton's now second on goal the season after Tom Lockyer put one in his own net against Aston Villa in October. Hyungmin's son obviously scored a winning Song goal Hung Min. in 86 minutes. Son Hyung Min. Like Lee Balak said. Which one is it? Hyungmin's son, Son Hyung Min. Whatever. He's that guy, yeah. 
Water human, I don't know, man. Mm. It's yeah, just it's too many, you get, you, you, too many you, remixes. You just get hit on as well. They were trying to hit on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw During that. the game, you saw that. Right? Why, why? Because you know, everyone knows I'm a big, uh, I'm a big Son fan, isn't it? So it's Son over Hazard, basically. Um, I'm not really Son over Hazard. That's how people. That's, that's how, how they, they perceive it. Yeah, you're right. That's the narrative. That's true. It's true. Well, one of them still playing in Premier League. The other one is playing with Sharky. What does that mean? <laughs> what are you I'm just saying, like, <laughs> one's playing one's play score in the Premier League, the other one's playing football with you. So, so how does do better in life? You're right. You might be right. Maybe, I don't know. If that's how you want to take it, <laughs> and that means open interpretation. Yeah, that's how I interpret it. <laughs> okay, that's right. Well, he gets to sh- share the pitch with me. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, one's good in the Premier League, and one's playing on the pitch with you. You're right, you're right. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Yeah, but one's got uh, multiple Champions Leagues. <laughs> yeah. Premier Leagues. Multiple champions. Oh, he does actually. He has yeah, two. Premier leagues. One of the other ones he didn't even, didn't even play. He just got a uh, participation medal. Exactly. Oh, got that. Yeah, you, Faisal, got, the you got a staff medal. You got the same treatment as Faisal. Exactly. He got a staff medal. He's got a staff medal. Um, but yeah, so uh, Hyunmin Sun obviously scored the winning goal at 86 minute coming mm. up. Clutch for Spurs. What I don't know about Spurs, sp- man. I mean, you had you had some questions for Basuma. Uh, yeah, I know. I've, I've spoken to Fuad about it. You were a big fan of him back in Brighton. I was. You were the first time I ever heard of Basuma. You brought him up to me. I I d- like, some people don't disrespect my eye's talent, man. Yeah, it yeah, happens, yeah. man. But um, no, I don't think he's. We say he's fraud. He say he's fraudulent. But now yeah. I just feel like I just feel like he's not and been. Don't oh, make any eye references. It's, it's, it's still fresh. I don't know. I don't know what's going to be. Who made the eye joke? Him. So oh, I have an eye for talent. Don't yeah. say that. Man. Oh my bad, bro. Fez, I'm in the right eye. But um, would you call it? <laughs> would you? Um, but now, regarding Basuma, I feel I mean, like he. Yeah, I have talent in Tavares as well. I I thought I did, but that, that <laughs> one that one was cross eyed. I said I said that to it. I, 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 I was cross eyed. I was cross eyed. Cross eyed. I said I was cross eyed for that one. It happens. Um, what would you call it? This guy's disgusting. <laughs> He's got some shit scouting selections. No, that, that that one I was. But regarding Basuma, I felt like especially at the beginning of the season, obviously a lot was going through uh, Madison and all that stuff. I felt like the the heart of that team at that time was Saw and Basuma. But Basuma mainly as the six, mm. and I, we felt like obviously the year. Remember the year before, he basically took a year off because he yeah. barely played for uh, Spurs. Yeah. But the start of this season, he picked up. And I remember speaking to Fuad, and Fuad said his last good game was Luton away in November. Didn't he get sent off that game? I, I think so. I don't know what it was. Oh, he did get. He did get sent off. They won one nuss. Yeah, he did get sent off. Obviously, I don't want to. Um, maybe fake, fake, maybe fake, 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 fake words or whatever but I remember that's what I said in it yep. it's, it's in the chat and um, regarding that since then Spurs haven't, haven't been the real like the Spurs they had they had people on purple patch forms they had mm. Vernon that was doing alright yeah. they had Richarlison that was on like a goal ben goal scoring form go through, had a little purple patch you well. know coming from like Madison yeah. went out Son was went to international break and I feel like they, they, it's just Son and Inshallah this moment it's Son and Son yeah. Mm. And Madison's still trying to find his feet. Mm-hmm. C- come back from injury, I'd say. Kuliszewski has stunk. Yeah. Suma has half stunk. Time. He got something for half time, Kuliszewski. Bro, um, obviously, Rashad didn't get much game time. Brendan Johnson's a guy that's been playing well. Yeah. Started, he came on, for, like, he's he been came a, on, got an assist. He's been a super sub a few times. And, mm-hmm. and he's he's won Spurs games, whether it's him scoring or assisting. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I don't know I don't know what it is with Ange. Obviously, uh, with that high line, they're always going to lose defenders. How, it's, it's like the second or third time Van der Ven's been out mm-hmm. injured mm-hmm. so I I'm and just like I mean just like Liverpool how we're talking about how they are the comeback kings and um, obviously I've credited them though they won the game you know, they they Liv- Liverpool, have earned, 20, a lot Liverpool of have earned 23 points this season from losing positions obviously seven of them we know they'll, they were losing and won the other two points they were losing and drew so Liverpool got 23 points Spurs have earned 22 points, only one point less than Liverpool from losing positions. So wow. they're also comeback kings this season, yeah. you know, from mm-hmm. losing positions. So they also do have that uh, that great determination to get these results. But defensively, though, man, when is the last time they kept a clean sheet? It's you, it's you they, guys' it's fault. You know that. I clocked it. They've caught more goals than us. You, man, you, I don't know if you was on the table. I was, I was the, the defensive table. argument. Yeah, the yeah. defensive argument would be glad. Saliba and uh, Gabriel and... Van der Ven and Romero. I was too confident, man. Oh, Alice, we? No, you wasn't there. No, what we wasn't there. We're, no, we're, we're, we're smart people. We yeah. know, we wanna go. It yeah. was that short brother that sat here, Ilias. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was Fuad and it was Az Busquets, correct? Yeah. I can't remember the lineup. But I don't there. know why I've got good memory. It was them three, yeah. Fuad was next to me, I think. Uh, whether it was. Ilias was next to you. Okay. I'm not bad. What would you call it? And everyone, bar I think you, 
I don't know. I forgot that bit. I forgot. I should. I, I should questioned him on it. I, I put he you was up used. On it. Yeah, Elias. The way he raised I think his I gave hand him and said, the left back. I gave him the left back. What's going on? But that's about it. But obviously, Fuad was confident thing, and I was confident. He's he's a quick you anyway. Like that guy, bro. So um. I, I, I don't know, man. They've considered yeah. more goals than Maynard. Does that, does that, that ever get? Does that ever get that's 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 what, what about? I mean. So how do these guys get? Wait, you're going for zero. You guys kill me. They've considered more goals. You're going for zero. Though. Yeah, Are we man. minus in 29, 29 games. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, you're plus two, man. Congrats. <laughs> you're going for zero. Forty goals scored. Forty goals conceded. You guys are hilarious. Don't um, worry about us, man. But what Tottenham? What Tottenham? Um, but yeah, man. Defensively, then. And they're having so many shouts for team of the years as well for certain of their defen- defenders. Nah, nah. They can't have a single defender team of the year. Can't. can't. Uh, you can do team of the year based on vibes. If you're doing it based on the actual season, realistically, it's either... Udogi and Pedro Poro, like Pedro Poro a bit more, but like they're not giving me mad stats and numbers going forward. You get I'm taking I'm taking Dalla over yeah. Poro. That's what I said. Nah, Poro's probably there, been there. Best. I'd even give uh, Gusto over Poro. Like, yeah. Nah, Poro's I hear it. Poro's been good. I like Poro going forward. Right, no, that's, that's the Poro's thing about Spurs. Yeah. It's masked, bro. Yeah. You're well, all looking at beginning of the season Spurs, mm-hmm. where they were out with, ten, what was it? 10 games unbeaten. First mm-hmm. 10 games unbeaten. Everyone thought, mm-hmm. oh, Double best eight. start in ever t- Tottenham history. And everyone's like, oh, Tottenham might be frightening this year. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Yeah. Obviously, I, I mm-hmm. don't blame them, bro. It's injuries and all that stuff. That's, yeah. that's changed the, that, that's changed the season Yeah, but fully. so Chelsea have any injuries. May not have any injuries. No, but you, you guys are ass and you guys know that. With, uh, with Spurs, they're, they're above you guys for a reason. We're going to be real in it. Yeah, but what? By how many points? They have one position above, above us. I don't and know. apparently they play, obviously they have a style of play. How Everyone far are you away place. from the top four? Are you like 11 points from the top four? Yeah, no. eight, but they're eight points above you. Don't try and say one place above us. Say yeah, points. Yeah, they're, eight points. <laughs> they're eight points. They're eight points. Yeah, but look at the one right, place. All right, this is why. <laughs> Cheeky look, way. No, that's no, how okay. you no, no, listen, listen. Eight points. Look at their fixture list. Please. Uh, uh, Look at that yeah, list. We'll see if it's eight three. points. We'll see if it's eight points. They, come, they, they got Liverpool. Come, you got Liverpool. They got Liverpool. You got Liverpool. They, they got, got Spurs. You got Spurs. They got Spurs. They, 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 they got Arsenal. You got Arsenal. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. And um, I, I think know. that's it. And they got City. They got Newcastle. They got Newcastle hype, man. Newcastle hype. We'll see. Okay. Newcastle hype, man. Let's let's do this. Go go through my United fixtures. Go through the Tottenham fixtures. Every fixture for you guys is tough. All right. Go go. But go through that. You got Chelsea and Liverpool back to back. Yeah. You might not even win any of them. Okay, we'll see. One point, uh, one point. Chelsea lose to Liverpool. Okay, no, we don't want that. Yeah, let's just hop. Home away, they already beat you three now. Uh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, it should have been four. Okay, Dango. Sheffield United at home. Baron Diaz and Oliver Burnley have signed for you. Uh, <laughs> don't, if Burnley at home. Just keep talking. Just keep talking. Just keep talking. Because you know what I dare. You know what I dare to happen. Do you know what I dare to happen? Yeah, I dare. I dare Arsenal to finish trophy list this season. I dare you. I dare. I dare you. The okay. way I'm coming for I you, I will be there. I and dare I'm Man United to go trophy list this season, Sharks. I Talking dare. about, uh, 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 I dare. That's gonna happen. Uh, trying to go through the little fiction list. You asked me to go through the fiction list. Hold on, no, no, no. I said like you're trying to uh, play, play little Joe Barrington Diaz, and they got something for you. We'll see. We'll see. Come end of the season, what you got on the table. That's We're gonna fine. see. We're gonna see. You better keep that energy, and you better start saying, "Yeah, you better keep it." I will. And you know I'm coming for you, Zoe. You okay. know I will. And on what? On what basis? On what basis? Yeah. On the basis that for the last two years you're talking about all this fantastic football, this progression football. Arteta this, Arteta that. And you're that coming back with nothing. Zero. Oh, you're coming back with nothing. Come with you. That, you must win. Lies? You must win. And those lies. The you way must, football you works. Win. Everyone knows the way football works. Okay, but you must win. Sometimes you win stuff. You must win. You don't deserve. Maybe you're good. Well, you must win. that. You must win. You know? yeah. All that work hey. needs to be shown. We deserve Sean everything. Yeah, you need to show all that work. Certain Champions League. We absolutely box All that work needs to show for something. You if you're not showing you me something, but, um, it didn't happen. Th- that's the way it works. Tell him, Sean. I'm here. It the, didn't the, happen. The, 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 the we are here. The Dutch team yeah. in the 70s deserved to win. They didn't win in the World Cups. Who talks Arsenal about them? Arsenal deserved to win about, Champions League. Who talks about the Dutch team in the 70s? Who talks about them? Yeah, but that's how it works. Yeah, because you don't know football. What? You're not a football historian. Is it? Okay, who's the captain of the Dutch team in the 70s? You're not a football historian. Who's the captain? Who's the captain? Is it you? Probably. Okay, <laughs> probably. I, I was, I was a yeah, born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you mentioning the seventies then? Why are you mentioning total them? football era? Everyone knows that if you're a football fan. Yeah, but why are you? He's been listening to. He's been listening to Leah seven too much. Don't, uh, tell you probably. Why I was born in Holland. I should know Holland's history nah. of football. Nine seventy four, nine seventy eight, uh, two okay, finals. Name me five players Se- on that team. Seventy eight, seventy eight. Name five players on that team. Dodgy World Cup. Name me five players on that team. I have to do that. What about Tottenham versus um, <laughs> Luton? <laughs> I don't have to do it. I, I yeah, see, that's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen to this Arsenal team in like twenty years. They're gonna what's ask happened? them, name me five players from that team. They're not gonna be able to because they're not winning nothing. 
They're not going to remember Declan Rice Saliba anymore. Saliba's probably goes to Real Madrid. And then we'll probably become a Real Madrid legend and then they forget about his... And it's going to be one of those fun facts. You know, the trivia facts. Did you know that Saliba plays for Arsenal? (laughs) That's what it's going to be. It's going to be a trivia fact. It's so sad. It's going to be a trivia fact. It's going to be mental. I hear it. upset what's happened to you. You must win. We don't win. It's long for you. For me, it's like... Just let him Just let him have his moment. I'm going to let you have him. I'm not going to rise to this because I'm looking opposite me right now. Yeah. And I see fans of two clubs that are at Wembley. Who, of course... Yeah, Wembley. We, we yeah. could be at Wembley as well. Exactly. Been Wembley as well. We, we Com- could, we, constantly. We could be Wembley this season, anyways. And we, when when you see us Wembley, you know what happens. Yeah. And yeah. Um, we have two clubs <laughs> in front of me who, Chill of course, growing up, growing up in my area, growing up, of course, mm-hmm. were the best in England. The best mm-hmm. every year in my high school year, 2007. You guys won the Premier League. Mm-hmm. You know, you beat us in the League Cup final that same year. Mm-hmm. 2008, you two won the Champions League final. Mm-hmm. You know, you won the Premier League that year as well, I believe. You know. 2009, you were in the Champions League final. You know, 10, you guys won the Prem. Like, this is my whole high school years. 11, you know, you, uh, what happened in 11? I don't even know what happened in 11. One of you guys probably won something. It was my night. You know what I mean? You know, I was won the league again. So I see that. And then to 2012, see. 2012, won the Champions League. 2012, which, these are my school years. Mm-hmm. 07 to 12. I started in 07 and then in 12. The United or Chelsea winning everything. Mm-hmm. And you had drug, but you had a rune that was scoring against all the time. Mm-hmm. Well, who's that? Now who's what? the second player? Hold on, 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 it you know hurts me looking at you guys you know and crazy, like yeah? you guys in a bad you know, place, you know, man. You know what's crazy? It's you know what's sad, crazy? man, no, but it's no, fine. No, 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 you know what's mad? Maybe one day... We've got a great game mad. next as well. If we I can feel get like there. you're... you're. I feel like... This is the problem with Arsenal fans is they live in the... You know, some money actually. Let me tell you why. There's a problem with Arsenal. Yeah, no, no, because you live... No, it's true. You're deluded. You You guys are deluded. You live in... La La Land. You're in La La Land. what are you for deluded? Hold on. Listen, you're La La Land. You know why? 10 years. You're talking... You're talking like you've already achieved something. No, I'm not. I'm just saying it's sad how you become. Sad, but what have you become? Nothing. You've become nothing as well, though. in the world. He's been dishing out slide dicks to us for ages. Hold on, hold on. Listen, listen, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold Yes or no? What do you have forget to show? Forget no. that. Okay, what do you have to show for it? Teams in the world, uh, you what have do you have trophies. to show for it? I will answer your question. Because last season, you were the be- one of the best teams in the world. Yeah, on paper, leave we leave had a better season than leave you. Leave and yeah. we were that like, good. Okay. Okay. I, I promise to answer your question about what we want to show for it. If you promise to answer my question. I'll answer your question. Go on. Who are the five best teams in Europe right now? Okay. Ask my question. Five best teams in Europe. Uh, Bayern Munich. <laughs> yeah. Manchester City. Uh, Real Madrid. Second in the league. Real Madrid. Hold on, hold on. Manchester City. Bayern Munich. Hold on. The five best teams in the world. Bayern Munich. Real Madrid. Manchester City. Bayern Munich. Real Madrid. Man City. Liverpool. And I'm going to say Bayern Leverkusen. All right, man. It's fair. Thank you. Tell me they're not. And you have to argue it. Tell me they're not. No, no, I, I didn't say that. I said I just want to hear your answer. Fizz. Then you get me. I'll ask you your question, okay? okay so now, now I want to ask question? you this, yeah? yeah? On paper, who had a better season last year? Between, Between Man United and Arsenal. What does on paper mean? On paper. What does, that, what does that mean on paper? You know what it means on paper. Well, we not, second, no, we're not, we we're not talking fourth. about what you've done on the pitch. We came on second, paper. Came fourth. On what? paper, on the league table. So, okay, okay second out, and fourth. Okay. If I put that on the league table, All right, on cool. paper. But, oh, there's, four, there's four competitions. Yeah. There's four competitions. We outperformed you out of three, in three competitions, yeah? We went to the, the final of the FA Cup. We went to the final Carabao Cup, which we won, okay? We finished fourth in the league and we went all the way. We went further than you in the European competition. With, with, with the same competition we were what both in. What you have to show for the FA Cup and the European competition that you're talking about? Uh, uh, we, so on paper, we, that's my point. On paper, we had a better season than you. You played better football than us last year, but okay, yet we so have season, we have something to show for so our season. You don't. The league cup. So again, this season we are on, we we're still in a cup, cup competition. You're in a cup competition. You, you're you're well, fighting the league. No, hold on, hold on. No, no, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying to you right now, if you don't league, delete, right. if you don't deliver at least one of those trophies this season, Nothing changes in my mind. Yeah. Sharks, can I ask again? You a question? It could be another repeat of last season. If you, I want Lee Ben as my lawyer. No, I'm, I'm telling you, you go to prison for a very long we time. We had a better show than that. I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. One more thing. Can I just make one final point? Since you're talking about since Fergie, uh, how back in the day we used to be this almighty thing, and since Fergie, we've, we've gone downhill. What have you done since Fergie left? Yep. What have you done? Because 
if, if we be keeping it real, we're in the same boat. Since Fergus, we've been in the same boat. They locked the key and they dashed yeah, it in the water. The we've been stuck on the same boat. We have in the same boat. Up until so, up so, until 20, so, you, but up you talk like years. you're somehow above us, Ben, whereas you've had worse years than us. You've had, you've performed worse than us in the same period. That's not true. It, it, oh, it's 100% true. That's not true. It's 100% true. We've won true. three FA Cups since Ferguson left. We won, a, we won a Europa League, we won an FA Cup, and we won a Carabao Cup. We won a European competition, furthermore. Have you okay. won a European competition? We've won a European competition. Have you? Yeah, I know. Yeah, sure. There you go. So you, it's, it's, it's tip for tap right now. You're it's giving not, me three FA Cups. I'm giving you FA Cup, Carabao Cup. I'm giving you Community Shield. I'm giving you everything. Oh, Community Shield. Oh, everything. Oh, everything. Community Shield now. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, Champions League. I'm, I'm okay, saying there's on. nothing you've won that you could say to us that outweighs anything we've won. Okay. And if anything, yeah. we've got a European competition under our belt. You don't. Oh, since so, Fergie left. So, okay. So, then so realistically, since Fergie so left, we're the same. can you really say you're better than us? Because you were, you was more downwards than so, we was. So we're the same. Than we've ever been. And since how many Fergie years left. behind us are you now? Because when we're talking about United, okay. you're using, you're using us okay, as a reference okay, point. Okay. Of, of your Mate, no, okay, okay. So why is he using us as a reference point? He's putting us on the pedestal. The only thing you can say I don't to know how this became no, United. No, 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 but I'm saying, no, but I'm saying, the only like thing, the only thing, no, but I'm saying, there's only statement that you can say to me that is valid and I will accept is that Arsenal play better football than Manchester United. But you can't say to me, there's nothing for you to show me on the table for you to say that you've been more successful than Manchester United since Fergie left. There's nothing for you to show it's for so it. Sad. Look how There's look nothing for you to show for it. Not this is a fact. Is. This is a fact. You know and you can't that accept is. that because it hurts that you play such good football, yet you've got nothing to show for it, brother. How sad and is. you might, and if you don't do oh, it again this season, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to be back on this table, and you know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I want to throw a party in here again. It's going to be another motive. It's going to be another rape. I'm going to bring this speaker, so, and we're going to have another parade in here. We're going to add a children. You know what? You can come along as well. Come along, yeah? I rest our case. Yeah, yeah, come on. I, I, I got, rest I, I, our case. I, 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 I got. So XO, my love is very special. Hey. What's tick. What's hey. Tap. Tick. Tap. He's rattled. Tick. He's rattled. Tick. He's rattled. I'm genuinely hot. I can't believe His head is hot. His head is hot. His head is hot. Yeah, I believe so. I don't know. No, I don't think so. No. No, you want to move on though. We can move on. Move no, no, yeah, we have to move on. But I, 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 I What's 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 uh, what's uh why is it not why would it not be factual? No, no I'm just saying everything you said is factual. Everything I've said just is factual. Just making sure everything you said you believe is factual. Everything I've said is factual. Liverpool top of the league, City are current European champions. Yeah. Bayern Munich are current leaders of uh, current holders of their league title. Leverkusen are top of the league, and Real Madrid. Uh, Real Madrid. Real Madrid top of the league. Top of the league. Oh, factual. It's facts. Yeah. You could buy, we might even be able to throw Atletico Madrid in there. Some. You never know. You might be able to throw Atletico Madrid in there. They've done more over the last 10 years than Arsenal have. You yep. can throw them in there. Right. And they're still in the mix. Mm -hmm. And they're still in the mix. Ain't that the same about Man United? Wow. I mean, United need to be in there as well. Big club in the world, right? We're not in there. I, I'm happy to admit that. That's not a problem. I, I, can, I can admit that though. But you're ahead but, of us. But, you're ahead of but, us. No, 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 no. I never said we're ahead of you. And see, look, already putting words so in my mouth. I never so said what, I'm ahead so of you. What, what, what? I never said of you. The no, whole argument. No, no, now no, we've got I'm less time to cover the last I, few What games. I've said is, you can't say that my, Arsenal, yeah. I don't even know how we got here. So no, fresh from the host. Let's just move on because they're just making me say the same points again. It's not. Everything I've said is factual. Yeah, yeah. Everything I've said is factual. Everything. Everything I've said is factual. I'm here. Thank Everything you. I've said is factual. That's fine. I'm here. I'm here. Because all, that matters, all that matters is <laughs> yeah. you live your truth. <laughs> and you make sure you live your truth. And, make and, sure, and, I will and live you make truth. sure your team delivers for you. Well, I don't have a hand in that. Yeah, well, I'm just a fan. Yeah, of course. But, but you, 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 you have a say. You're, right now, you're trying. You're, you're, going, you're backing them to death right now. Of course I am, as I should you're be. Yeah. Uh, so make sure they give you something to back. Because you've got nothing right now. You're bringing nothing to the table right now. I'm bringing a lot. You're bringing nothing. Well, the Champions League You're throwing finals. me the three FA Cups. Well, the Champions League got finals. <laughs> you're throwing me the media FA Cups. second in the Premier League when Champions when League got finals. When Santi Cazula was still there and Ramsey and Alexis Sanchez. That's what you're giving me right now. Mm. Yeah, you're throwing back to them days. You're not mm. giving me anything this new team have done. What has this new team we're still, done? Because we're still in, in the season. The season's finished. Okay, and I'm, that's why my point is said make sure you deliver. Make sure your team delivers for you. I have no say in that. Make sure your no, team delivers no for you. I have no part to play in that. I just make videos with them. But I'm saying make sure your team delivers for you. I hope they do. I hope they, they sure win. I hope they win. So that at least next time we have this argument, I can't say nothing. But I don't. But there's no point. Why? Why am I debating with you? We're not in the same league. I don't get it. It's so You're dumb for me, and I'm so I'm so disappointed in myself. We're not playing for the same thing. 
I know we're playing for the league. You're playing to hopefully get top four. We're playing for Champions League. You're playing to hopefully win an FA Cup. We're not even in the same discussion, and it's embarrassing right. for me because I should be arguing Ooh, with City fans fair. and Liverpool fans, and I'm so disappointed sure myself. Knows, you you and there. I apologise to you as well for even wasting Arsenal fans' times. And it is what it is. I'm so sorry. Like, you, uh, do, you, guys, make, you, know you guys, you guys focus it, yourselves. The gaslighting is not we'll working. We're focusing ourselves. It's not working. Would you argue it's right now? Would you argue right now with Luton fans because they're arguing? They're fighting for something as well, but that's to stay up. You're fighting for something. And that's to get top four. We're fighting for something to win the league. We're in the same league. But you're all making, but I'm saying make sure you deliver. We're all fighting for different things. No, but I'm saying make okay, sure you deliver. You make sure you, you make sure you, you deliver talk, your top four. You talk like you're doing fans, it. Why is Luton fans. Luton fans. Luton fans. Make sure. You're so funny. We're gonna carry on now. We're gonna carry on. Luton fans. Make sure to deliver. You talk because you're already champions. You talk like you've already won the league. No, I'm not. You've already won the Champions League. You haven't. Everyone, make sure you guys deliver. And I'm letting you know you better deliver. You better deliver, Shadamake. Everyone, you better deliver. Everyone, you better You better deliver. Everyone, make sure you deliver. You better deliver. Everyone, make sure you 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 deliver. You better deliver, Oria. Your own individual targets. Oria, you better deliver. Okay. Okay, Everyone, please. Everyone, Oria, Oria, please. you better deliver. Hit hey, your targets. That's all it hey, is. Hey, 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 Oria, you better deliver. Our, our targets are different to you guys. Um, so, yeah, let's hear from Cutin, who is a Luton fan. Because uh, we were actually Cutin are from the, Luton. We actually are on the Spurs uh, Luton game. Cutin from Cutin the Luton fan said after the last mediocre. That's the best word to summarize our performance this weekend. Like we're talking about Spurs and Luton. Yeah. Good flashes of play and quality from the vets for the goal, but a level of incompetence throughout the team is there for all to see and it is getting capitalised. We have been hit heavy from our injuries with one of the thinnest squads in the league. We haven't played with three natural centre-backs since Lockyer went down three months ago. The lads look like Liverpool last year, burnt out. I fear that if we get relegated, we will struggle massively to get back up. But with Forrest's point deduction and the teams playing around us not playing the best, we have a chance. All we can do is back the lads and win at the carpet. Come on, you hatters. Yeah. C O Y H. Come on, hatters, right? Yeah. Come on, you hatters. Make sure you deliver your targets, which is trying to stay up. I'll tie the three point collectors. Hopefully, as well you're not deliver as well. targets and staying in the prim- man, staying in the top four. Get into the top four, and then we'll try and deliver our target. Everyone's got so to deliver. Small shit man, man you go straight down. Man. Okay. Next, we've got a few games left. How many games you got left? Three. Man, we're gonna go, we've down. wasted so much time, yeah, so we're gonna do no, this. Three. Don't, don't worry. worry. Africa. Africa. We've got three games left. We're gonna summarize. Is this guy blame this guy, man? We're gonna summarize them anyways. Aston Villa played Wolves. Forest played Palace. And Bournemouth played against Everton. We're doing all three games together now. So oh, I love that. I love that. Uh, I prefer Aston that. Villa played Wolves. They beat them 2-0. Uh, Aston Villa have recorded as many Premier League wins this season as they have managed last season, which is 18, and they still have nine games to go, so they can smash that out of water. Um, top four, they probably could get a top four, man. I'm not going to lie. It's looking good for them. Um, but obviously, maybe United... The miss of Bumi Kakamara is going to... Um, Wolves have suffered their first pick. Premier League defeat to Aston Villa since the 1-0 loss in December 2020, having gone unbeaten in their past six meetings, um, whilst it's their first top flight defeat at Villa Park since December 2003. Who was that? Wolves? Having gone being, while it's their first top flight defeat at Villa Park since 2003, December 2003. Wolves? Wolves haven't lost at Villa Park since 2003. My prediction would have been perfect. Mm. No wonder I put it on makes Wolves. Makes sense. You put Wolves to beat Oh there. my days. No, it makes sense. You put Wolves to win? Yeah. Um, yeah I know he had a good chance early on. Yeah. Um, really quickly on this, uh, really quickly on these two teams, um, Sean's team. Let's talk about Forest and Palace quick. Palace should have ran away with the points. That, uh, they got robbed. Not necessarily robbed because they just missed a lot of easy so chances. Hippen, Villa, I mean, listen, Villa, fourth place right now. Real. You know, Aston Villa, mashallah, brother. You, Birmingham, you play good football. Kamara out. I like that Rogers guy as well. Rogers looks like a, a good player. Mm-hmm. He's a bit, I don't, I, I don't know what the word is. It's got a bit about him. Yeah, well, I, but. Rogers, Morgan Rogers. Yeah, came out of nowhere. Just just bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, spawned out of nowhere, and he seems to be playing well. Um, let us know what you think about him, Villa fans. I mean, it's a good, comfortable win for you guys. Two nil is always a nice, sweet win. Clean sheet and two goal cushion. You are still in fourth place after thirty games. Can you hold it, or are you going to be like Leicester, of Brendan Rodgers, two seasons in a row holding fourth place <laughs> for the whole season and then fumbling it right at the end? Let's see if you guys can hold it. Uh, you are three points above Spurs, but Spurs have a game in hand over you guys. But obviously, Spurs do have tough fixtures, so. There's yeah, a good chance. I think their goal is better, isn't it? Slightly better. Two, yeah. two goals more. I feel like they bounced back well after the defeat to, to, yeah, to Tottenham. Yeah, but Villa's next game yeah. is City away. Oh, Villa, do me a favour, brother, a please. Favor. You already beat them at Brother, Park. please. You already beat them at Villa Park. Please, brother. Have you got one more in your Please, brother. You know, but Villa are playing all three of the top They're two. They're asking for it. But Villa are playing City, Arsenal They're and Liverpool this season. They've still got all three of us to go. Um, so Villa have got tough fixtures, but listen, if you want to finish top four... Have they got to play Liverpool? Yeah, Wait, away from home. Uh, uh, they're they gonna play at home. They're home. playing uh, Liverpool home. at home. 
and, and, and Arsenal and City away. Inshallah. But Liverpool at home is, is second to last game of the season. Inshallah. Oh, we've got to go Old Trafford, man. That's, a, that's three points. That's all right. Inshallah. Sure all right. Forest playing yeah. against Palace. 1-1 one, one, that game finished. Uh, Not and Forest have lost none of their eight Premier League meetings with Crystal Palace. Mm. Uh, they've won three and drawn five, but the most they've faced a side without ever losing. Uh, both the most they've uh, faced a side without ever losing and the most the Eagles have faced without ever winning. So, you know, these, you know, Forest can't seem to, Forest don't lose to Palace and Palace don't beat um, <laughs> Forest. That's why they drew on the one. Finish was that was nice a perfect, that was an easy, easy game to predict. Um, so yeah, and then um, Forest have gone down 1-0 in 17 different Premier League games this season and only Sheffield and Luton and Burnley can see the first more often than them. That's why they're the bottom three teams. Um, or in and around there anyways. Uh, Crystal Palace have failed to win any of their past nine Premier League away games since a 2-0 win at Burnley in November. However, they have scored in full but one of those matches, which is a 5-0 <laughs> loss at Arsenal. They need to January. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Burnley, I don't know. Yeah. And they need to resort with 10 men. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a team of shit. Well, like, you're you know, you know, you know what would have been one of my dreams? Well, lie. Yeah. If I don't know, someone grabbed Chelsea by the collar and said, Yeah, you're joining this relegation race. <laughs> no, but you might as well just take them down. <laughs> like, Get rid of them. I mean, I'd be like, You'd love it. That'd be sure to bring us through, you know, survive relegation. I mean, your, your stadium's ready for the championship, anyways. That's fine. So, <laughs> yeah, well, like, that stadium is definitely ready for that. It's a championship stadium. <laughs> yeah, bro. Well, like, bro. <laughs> Well, oh no! I, I, I still can't get over their stadium. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Bro. Like describe the stadium. So from the moment you go in, you get go in. When you come out of full of Broadway station, it's just like it's just like it's you're really just walking. It's just there. Like but, you don't even know there's a stadium. But, you bust two two shops, uh, and then you, you got the alleyway. And we talk about that. It's tight. The turnstiles. Everyone talks about the tight turnstiles. I mean, it's well, I think it's tight. I'm a big guy. Well, like, I know you. I don't know how you do. I'm sideways on. I ain't go sideways. I'm it's sideways. Tight. It's tight. Bro, no, seriously. Well, like, claustrophobic people have a nightmare. That's a nightmare. That's a nightmare. If you're claustrophobic, it's a nightmare. There's something wrong with that stadium, man. There's something wrong with that stadium. It's a nightmare. And the chairs as well, like, it's crazy. Horror. So, no, they open up the fire exit doors when they, when you when you exit the stadium. The There's something wrong there. But um, it's hot. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, it's, it's, those the seats are, are the horrible, seats are nice. The seats nice. They're just it's like wooden. Nah, it's not great. It's not. It's and plastic. plastic but it's tight. tight. And you know, like you know how like you like to sit a bit comfortable. Have you been to Southbridge by the way? Never in a billion years. Bro. Broski, when you come out, listen. When you come out, no, I put on Twitter. I have no, but no, no, you know, no, but no, but you see how you go like when you go to North London and like you can see like. Like say for example, if I go to Angel, I can see like the Emirates Stadium. You can yeah, like yeah. see it. If you, if I go to like it's even now Hanger Lane, I can see Wembley Stadium. It's open yeah. space. Like I can see the stadium, yeah. bro. Them, yeah. You, you can't open a bull oh, yeah. it's We're hidden, covered bro. up by the Nando's. <laughs> They're the covered. Audience. The stadium's covered. You don't know. You don't We're even know it's a stadium, my brother. You catch you by surprise. It catches yeah. you. Yeah. By no, bro, I've never seen Chelsea Stadium ever. See yeah, it's horrible. Like it's even horror. driven past. No, you won't Chelsea see stadium. it. You can't see it from distance. You live in London. Can't see it from distance. I know, not far from West London as well. Bro, we'll, yeah, dr I, we'll drive there one time. Just I'll yeah, drive you there one time. Just see it. So no, I might go. I might go Arsenal win next season. Craven Cottage, Stafford Bridge, same yeah, thing. Two two. Oh, it's Craven two, Cottage, two, uh, Craven yeah, yeah. Cottage is it's two horrible. Two ticks on the same facts, ass. Facts, facts. <laughs> uh, Sorry, man, and then yeah, VVS's Forest there. Forest Palace was a one-one game, but finally Bournemouth VVS's versus Everton. Bournemouth won the game two-one. Thank you, Seamus Coleman, for the points. Yeah, Bournemouth won the game two-one. Seamus Coleman on goal. How long has Seamus Coleman been playing? He's played on, the, I think, 12 different managers at Everton. What, how many years oh, wow. has he been playing in this league? I, know, I, been I, around, I can tell you man. one thing, though. He's got a lisp. He's a legend. Is he actually? No, he's got a lisp. <laughs> this guy's the lisp watcher. Fake facts. This guy's the lisp this watcher. This guy's got yeah. fake facts. Hey, you love WWE, man. Huh? You should see Cody Rose will lie. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I heard it, I heard it, I heard it. How long has he been playing? I can't deal with him, man. Uh, he joined you them. You would love it, man. You would nine, love it. Nine, nine, no, I see that. I see that Cody Rose. Yeah, yeah, it's like horror. 15 years now. Almost 15 years, When Fua met Ledley Kick, you know, I was crying. I said, how do you interview this guy? I just can't remember. Well, listen. Bournemouth <laughs> versus <laughs> Everton. Bournemouth won 2 1. Bournemouth are now unbeaten across <laughs> all seven of their Premier League matches against Everton, uh, winning five and drawing two. The Cherries, most matches at the Vitality Stadium against any side without, ever, without recording a loss. So Bournemouth obviously have Everton's number. Uh, only Sheffield United have scored fewer <laughs> than Everton's 11 first half Premier League goals this season after the Toffees saw the first half of their match against Bournemouth and goalless. Um, in fact, both Everton and Bournemouth have hold the two worst first half shot conversion. This campaign, so obviously everything's not looking too good for them um, over there. Uh, Bournemouth's Dominic Solanke has now scored 16 Premier League goals this season, the joint most ever scored for the Cherries during the season, alongside Josh King in 2016-17. Obviously, Dominic oh, Solanke, good era Dominic Solanke obviously mm. can, can can go past that with just one more goal in the next. If, if Dom Solanke gets about 22, 23 goals, that's insane. It's insane. It's, it's, a, shame. 20, not, yeah. it's, it's a shame he's not. It's a shame he won't he won't get called up for England. But I just feel like he needs a bigger move. 
after this. Reckon. Yeah. Chelsea? Chelsea, yeah. He's already nowhere. Uh, yeah. He's going back <laughs> home. Everyone's going Chelsea. He's everyone's going back home. He's going to Cobham, bro. Yeah, he's yeah. from Chelsea. Yeah, he's from Chelsea, actually. Oh, when's, the last, when's the last time you won Champions League? Part of that. When's the last that, time that, we won Champions yeah, League? Yeah, when's the last time you won the Academy team? Yeah. When's the last time? 2020, what was it? 2020, 2020 season? No, you won a Champions League? 2019, 2020. You won a Champions League? No, that was Real Madrid. The year after Liverpool. Won, yeah. the, the year after Liverpool won it. Is that when you won it? Yeah, yeah. against Man City. Oh, no. You won it, yeah. Havertz. Yeah, Havertz, star player. Yeah. We've got right, two well, Champions well, League winners. What's, 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 what's yeah. behind the question, brother? I asked you when's the last time you won Champions League. Jorginho Havertz. We've got them. I said it. No, I'm Chelsea. I told you, I'm part of Chelsea as well. Yeah, fact. So when they take uh, the W's, I take But them. listen, that was uh, that, that, that is the end of the games. Uh, quick, 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 super quick. Um, super quick FPL. Yeah, man, we got Sahul, man. Round up. Yeah, super quick FPL round up. Uh, in the SDS Familia one, in first place, I don't know how this is happening. Mersal is still in first place. He's maintaining. As you can see, uh, he's clapping for himself. He's clapping himself, by the way, guys. Yeah, you know what? Himself. He deserves it because... Without his hands. Mm. Nah, he don't deserve it. He deserves he's it. a lucky you. You don't I'm, deserve it. I'm in second. <laughs> Lee Ban, you're in fourth. He's a lucky you don't deserve still it. On. Uh, Lee Ban, you're in fourth. Sean, you're down in seventh. I'm on a late surge, though. You've moved up to ninth. Uh, so. I'm happy with but that. You're below me. Who's in the top two at one point? Uh, brother, I've put my focus on. Hey, listen, clubs. I can't lie. Last ten <laughs> games for me, clubs. I'm always on a surge. <laughs> to every pro year. Clubs, bro. So it's gonna happen. Don't know to the SDS clubs. league where you guys can join. The uh, the code is in the description below. Um, I'm in 625th place, but I'm already top ten in first place. Tej, Tyler Turks is in first. Bloom is in second. Has been there all season. Uh, four two three one. Junior Press is in third. In fourth is Meza Urzel. Fifth out, is Channel the, Four. Mejbri. In sixth is Sterling Dool. In seventh is Two Eze. In eighth is Who Let the Dogs Out. In ninth. Cash me outside and in 10 D Luke. Um, so that's the top 10 there. It's on the screen right now. If you want to join before the season ends, hurry up and join. Link is in the description. All the code is in the description. Uh, that is the end of today's video. We have big games coming up this week in midweek, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. There's Premier League fixtures. There's a lot going on. Um, we're uploading obviously today, which is Monday. So be keep an eye out for the next video, which will come out on Friday. And then there's watch along potentially on a Thursday on Manchester United versus Chelsea. And then another watch along on the Sunday, which is May uh, Night versus Liverpool. Or Chelsea versus May Night and then May Night versus Liverpool on Sunday. So there's a lot going on. Uh, live watch from the back. Keep watching on this channel and on playback. There's a lot of content coming up. Champions coming up as well the week after that. European football. So we'll see you guys very soon. Bye.